Well, good morning to you and welcome to another edition of the Art Lewis Show here on WSGW. It's possible during uh, this hour we're going to talk to uh, Nathan Miller from the National Audubon Society about uh, Great Lakes Restoration Initiative. But until that time, it is open phones, whatever you'd like to chat about to start the week. Saginaw Bay City, 752-6111, toll-free, 866-790-WSGW. Uh, I want to start uh, with something we left off with last week. We were talking about the Supreme Court and uh, from a couple of different angles. One, packing the court. Uh, there are some progressives that want to add four justices to the Supreme Court so they can tip the balance in their favor. Uh, other discussions revolve around uh, lifetime appointments and whether they should have term limits on Supreme Court justices. Well, I, there was a poll done recently. This was a Reuters poll uh, about that very thing, about uh, lifetime appointments and packing the court. And what they found was that a majority of Americans want to end lifetime appointments for the Supreme Court justices. But less than half, far less than half, 38% supported expanding. 63% supported term limits. Only 38% talked about expanding the court. So the issue becomes, and now I have to start this by saying I'm not an attorney. I don't play one on the radio. I just look at things from my viewpoint and offer my opinion on them. I would have to think that in order, and, and my legal eagle friends out there can correct me if I'm wrong, because there is some debate about this. It would appear to me that in order to impose term limits on Supreme Court justices, there would have to be an amendment to the Constitution. Because the Constitution phrases it, I'm sort of paraphrasing, I don't have it in front of me right now, but it is an appointment for as long as they exhibit good behavior, is the way it's phrased, something along those lines in the Constitution. With no end, well, if they exhibit good behavior, and remember, good behavior does not mean how they decide cases. You may disagree with their decisions, but that's not bad behavior. That's their interpretations of the law. As long as they exhibit good behavior for the length of their life, they hold the appointment of the Supreme Court. You would have to change the language in the Constitution. Now, there is a school of thought that's been put forth that you could get around that by putting a statutory limitation on service on the bench, and then they would become uh, superior justices or something like that. And they could serve on other federal courts, but not the Supreme Court. So you'd still be giving them lifetime appointment to the bench, but it would not be on that bench. I, that's probably questionable. So regardless of what we like, whether we'd like to see term limits or not, we have to deal with the reality of the issue. The reality of the issue is it will be very, very difficult to impose term limits. The reason that we have the language we have in the Constitution is that, remember, the Founding Fathers came primarily from England. And the history in England was that the kings, if they didn't like the way a judge ruled, they fired him. And so the founding fathers of the United States thought it best to remove that pressure from the Supreme Court justices so they could serve without fear of repercussions for a decision the king, or president in this case, didn't like. Make perfect sense. Once they're appointed, 
they're free to do what they want. They're now once they're appointed to the Supreme Court, they are no longer beholden to the president who appointed them or anyone else. And we have seen that. We have seen justices appointed by Republicans vote against the wishes of Republicans from time to time, and we've seen those appointed by Democrats do the same thing. And isn't that what you want in a justice? Don't you want someone who goes in, puts their politics aside, and starts deciding cases on the merits of the case against the Constitution? I mean, to me, that's what it's all about. All right, let's uh, talk to Scott in Saginaw. Scott, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Art. I heard your topic, but I'm going to ch- kind of jump ship here. Sure. Uh, I, was watch- I was watching the media this morning, and I keep hearing about all the, the shootings, and they want to get stricter gun laws. And in the same breath, Governor Whitmer here is sponging hundreds of people's records who are convicted felons. Now, mind you, they are willfully convicted felons. They were not committed a crime. They could never own a gun. Now, because of what she is doing, all these convicted felons can now All right, I'm going to correct you, Scott, because she's not doing it. The legislature did it. They passed the law. She's enforcing the law. She's doing exactly what the law says that can be done. This is all Democrat-led stuff. This ain't nothing Republican. Republicans aren't letting people out to give them guns. That's Democrats. Well, Democrats the Democrats don't have majority in the legislature, do they? Well, she's the one who signed this into law. She's okay, the so, she so the Republicans had nothing to do with it then. Is that what you're saying? From what I'm understanding, I don't see where this is the Republicans. I could be wrong, Art. But well, who passed the law? Democrat-led stuff. Who passed the law? Into law. I beg your pardon? She signed it into law. Yeah, but who passed it? Well, if okay, it wasn't so passed, it wouldn't have got to her, her desk. Okay, okay. So let's okay, just well, let's way just way say it's Republican. let's just say it's bipartisan. Okay, regardless. Why are they going to go ahead and allow these people, whether it's Republican or Democrat, to get guns? I don't know if they can. That's an interesting question, and I understand what you're saying. If they expunge, does the record go away, and then they can go out and get guns? I, I think I think the, the other side of that is we have to look at who's being released and what were they charged with when they were arrested. Who, who, you know, who, uh, who are we talking about? What was the nature of their crimes? Uh, you know, if it's a, if it's a violent criminal, that's one set of circumstances. Uh, if it's somebody that was arrested and put in jail for uh, having a small bag of marijuana, that's a whole nother circumstance, isn't it? Well, I, I agree. But to to put a, a broad stroke across everybody is a bad idea, because what I see is a bunch of people who did not willfully change their life or turn their life around are now going to have a clean record. OK, and so what? So they can own a gun. So I'm saying, I think we need to be watching this. If we think there's shootings now, what do we think is going to happen when a bunch? Yep. Well, we'll find out. I, I listen. I just, uh, uh, I hear what you're saying. Uh, but the other side, I just want to make sure we understand this wasn't a unilateral action by the governor. I know it's easy to blame her for everything, but you, you know, you lose credibility if you blame her for everything and don't take any responsibility for the other side. So, you know, no, I, I hear what you're saying. It, 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 regardless, left or right, it is a stupid policy. If the people work to get their record of sponge, amen to that. Good for them. Go get a job and make a life out of it. But don't just clean people up who are convicted felons and then give them a gun. Well, see, it depends. Again, it goes back to what were they convicted for? I don't think that violent I don't think violent criminals who you'd really worry about are the ones getting out on this. I think it's, but, it's, but again, it's, it's significantly it's, it's, minor it's, offenses. It's, but it still comes back to they were convicted felons, and regardless of the case, they shouldn't be able to own a gun after that. All right. Now you're going to allow them to. They broke the law, and now they can own a gun. That's just not a good Fair combination. Enough. Fair Law-abiding enough. Law-abiding a citizen, own guns. Okay. Fair enough. Good enough, Scott. Thanks. Appreciate mm-hmm. it. Take care. Bye-bye. Saginaw Bay City, 752-6111. Toll-free, 866-790-WSGW. The Art Lewis Show. For this Monday, the 19th, a day when everyone over the age of 16 or 18, whatever it is, can can get vaccinated now for COVID-19. And let me take a moment here. When you choose Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan for your Medicare coverage, it's easy to get the care, tests, or treatment you need whenever you need them. 
When you need access to care, Blue Cross provides you with more options that work for every lifestyle. Schedule appointments for checkups or routine care at a time that's convenient for you. If you'd like to stay close to home, give the Blue Cross 24-7 nurse line a call or schedule a virtual doctor visit. Whenever you need assistance, Blue Cross will connect you with the information and help you need. With a Blue Cross Medicare plan, you'll never have to go without your medication. They're easy to use. Prescription drug plans allow you to refill and pick up your medications from your local pharmacy or have them delivered by mail. Get access to the care you need as soon as you need it with Blue Cross, the company that more than 500,000 people in Michigan trust for their Medicare coverage. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan, confidence comes with every card. See what other members are saying at bcbsm.com slash senior care. And we'll be back with more after these notes. It's official. The 35th annual Freeland Wildlife Festival is back April 23rd through 25th. Keeping everyone safe will be the top priority this year, and some activities will be different or not held. This year's festival includes the community-wide garage sales, the Walleye Festival Fishing Tournament, Midway Carnival Rides, the United Financial 5K and 10K Run Walk, the Annual Car Show, and the Disc Golf Tournament. Go to FreelandWalleyeFestival.com for tournament entry forms and for event information, or find them on Facebook. The Freeland Walleye Festival. Finding great candidates to hire can be like, well, trying to... Sure, you can post your job to some job board, but then all you can do is hope the right person comes along, which is why you should try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter doesn't depend on candidates finding you. It finds them for you. Its powerful technology identifies people with the right experience and actively invites them to apply to your job. You get qualified candidates fast. So while other companies might deliver a lot of hay, ZipRecruiter finds you what you're looking for. The needle in the haystack. See why four out of five employers who post a job in ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. Smartest way to hire. And right now you can try ZipRecruiter for free. That's right, free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. We're proud to make Pioneer Sugar for you and your family. Proud to be found in your kitchen, the heart of your home. And it doesn't really matter what you make with Pioneer Sugar, whether it's with our granulated white, light brown, or soft confectioners. It's the memories you'll make using it. Pioneer Sugar, pure and all natural, made from sugar beets grown right here. What could be sweeter than that? I'm Elizabeth McDonald, and this is the Fox Business Report. Earnings season is here, with dozens of U.S. companies set to report numbers this week. The big names include Coca-Cola, Netflix, United Airlines, and Verizon Communications. Investors will also keep an eye on key economic and housing data due out later in the week. Four drug makers, including Johnson & Johnson and Teva Pharmaceuticals, face a trial today in a lawsuit alleging the companies helped fuel an opioid epidemic by deceptively marketing painkillers. Several counties in California seeks more than $50 billion in damages. The CDC blames opioid overdoses for nearly half a million deaths in the U.S. from 1999 to 2019. Mission accomplished, albeit a short one. NASA's experimental helicopter Ingenuity rose above the red surface of Mars Monday. The helicopter stayed in the air for 39 seconds and was hailed as a Wright Brothers moment. That's your Fox Business Report. I'm Steve Rappaport, invested in you. Life hacks. What would life be without them? Like using candle wax to loosen a stuck zipper. Here's another life hack. Now you can get the same high quality insurance, but at a new low rate. With Allstate, you can lower your rates, not your expectations. Visit Allstate.com or call an agent for a quote today. In most states, prices vary based on how you buy. Not available in every state. Subject to terms, conditions, and availability. Allstate Fire and Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates, Northbrook, Illinois. Northeastern Paint Supply invites you to listen to the WSGW Focus Show with Art Lewis. Weekday mornings from 11 to 11.30. You'll hear local business and community leaders. Sponsored by Northeastern Paint Home Decorating Centers in Saginaw and Bay City. Designer face masks. DIY haircuts. In a world full of things you never thought possible. 
Get the same high quality insurance from Allstate, but at a new low rate. Drivers who switched and saved averaged $718. With Allstate, you can lower your rates, not your expectations. Visit Allstate.com or call an agent for a quote today. Reported average annual savings from switching on by new customers surveyed who saved with Allstate in 2019. In most states, prices vary based on who you buy. Not available in every state. Subject to terms, conditions, and availability. Allstate Fire and Treasury Insurance Company and affiliates Northbrook, Illinois. There's never any FOMO with the iHeartRadio app. You won't ever have to miss out on your favorite shows and contests with this radio station again. Radio 24-7, 365. 365. We're here when you want us. Stay connected and listen anywhere when you download the free iHeartRadio app. On the net. Why did Anthony Fauci cross the road? It's none of your business. Stop asking questions. Follow the science. Mark Lee, Van Camp and Robbins. Weekdays at noon on 100.5 and 790. News Radio WSGW. And we are back with you on WSGW, the Art Lewis Show. Errol is in Saginaw. Let's go there next. Good morning, Errol. To say I'm fuming this morning is putting it mildly. Fuming? Mm-hmm. Are you fuming? Are you fuming? I'm fuming this morning. I'll okay. tell you why. Number one, everyone has a right to own a gun. I got no problem with someone to explain to me what the hell they need a gun that will fire has carries a hundred rounds of ammunition to deer hunt. Mm. Okay. If you if every morning you wake up, we've got a massacre someplace in this country. And, uh, you know, it, it is absolutely nuts, though. And then what does Texas do two days ago? Oh, they passed a law in Texas that you don't need a permit to open carry a gun in that state. Well, what you don't. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 Errol. Errol, Errol. Yes. You do not need a permit to open carry in this state. Michigan no, has open you carry. Need, you don't need a, a permit to carry a gun openly in this state? Nope. Well, I stand corrected then. Uh, that's true, too. I've seen a couple of people at McDonald's. Yeah, but it's, you know, it's. Yeah, I think but Texas said, said, I think Texas said you don't need a permit to carry. And I think that could be open or concealed. I'm not sure if it was just open. I think it was any time. I mean, every morning we wake up, we've had another massacre overnight. When are we going to get tired of that? Now, well, let me ask. Let me ask a question. Water? Let me ask a what? question. We already have lots yeah. of laws on the books regarding gun ownership. Well, now, just, no, a minute, no, no, just a minute, no, Errol. Just a minute, Errol. Yeah. Just a minute. Yes. We yeah, got yeah, lots yeah. of laws on the books. Have they stopped bad guys from committing crimes? No. And do you no, think? But you got what's happening in this state now. They're going to. Uh, so uh, they're going to release a whole bunch from felonies so they can uh, carry g- get guns again. We are going nuts all over the state, all over this country. Well, it's changing, that's for sure. You and I have got, got to put up with that crap. Yep. You know, you're afraid to go to the grocery. There was a, an incident I read about three days ago. This woman pulled up to the drive and I don't know what kind of fast food was. They didn't get her food fast enough. So she shot the guy serving the food right through the yep. uh, drive up. Yep. You know, and it, it's it's just crazy. Right? Where's it going? Well, I, I mean, there we have to find the answer of how to keep guns out of the hands of people that have mental issues. And we haven't figured that out yet. That's a big one. Is that half, That's the is big that one. Half the country? I don't know, but it could be. But, it, you know, is that half the country? But, you yeah. know, listen, uh, we also put those same folks in charge of automobiles who go out and kill people. Uh, well, so, right. you know, we, we have to figure out the balance here so that the people that uh, have legitimate reasons and, and, and follow the law and do things conscientiously aren't victimized because of a few others. How long are we going to keep to be good natured like me and you? Forever. You know, it's the nature of the country. The, uh, right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right. Later today, I got another project for you. Talk to you. Talk to Bye-bye. you. Take care. Have a good day, Art. You too. Bye-bye, Bye-bye now. And Paul is in Saginaw. Paul, good morning. Good morning, Art. I just in the newspaper uh, yesterday or this weekend, 50% of the people who have mental illness uh, either don't get any treatment or refuse to get any treatment. That's one, one problem. Uh, another is our prisons are full and the public refuses to uh, build new prisons. That's why they let all these uh, uh, people out of prison. Uh, 
with talking about these felonies and stuff. But what I want to talk about is today is uh, I want to give a big shout out to the Flint Farmers Market because they have got it down to a science over there with their vendors, the crowds, uh, and they do it all without entertainment. Uh, somebody from the Flint Farmers Market on your show and find out why they're doing such a good job. They were voted the fifth best farmers market in the country. And, and we need to find out why, what are they doing over there that they're so successful because it's unbelievable how good they are over there. Have you ever been down there? I have. I have. I thought it was an okay market at the time. Now, I don't know. I haven't been there in a couple of years, but uh, well, they got you know, I, thought it was, I thought it was okay. And I was in the new building, but I didn't, okay. uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't walk away feeling it was the greatest thing since, you know, since chicken soup. It was a good market. Well, they were voted. It was a very good over market. 100 vendors. Yeah, I know that. I they know all those things. Fifth best in the whole country. Yeah, I are know. They're doing something right over there. Well, I'm sure they are. I'm sure they are. I just, you know, I, uh, markets have become I mean, I commonplace. market around here, they don't, uh, can't even draw flies. And, uh, uh, and I think the, that's not got, true. The farmers, over there. the farmers markets around here do all right. That's why they keep coming back year after year. You don't think they do it if they weren't making money? Well, they're not doing it like they are in Flint. That's for sure. Well, then drive to Flint. What can I tell you? Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, it's, it's it's a drive. Uh, well, you know, then do it all the time. That's just right. Here and there, but there are, uh, there are lots of wonderful things around here too. I'm not taking it away from right. Flint. They do a fine job, but uh, I'm not going to drive to Flint to get what I can get here, and most of it you can get here. So, all right, all right Paul. All right, take care. Okay. Bye bye now. Right. And right. Mark is in Bay City. Mark, good morning to you. Good morning, Art. How are you, sir? I'm doing well, and I hope you are. One of the day is emboldened, and the reason why I use that word is we have Congress inciting violence maxine waters as far as getting up in people's faces again also okay well, wait wait just stop. i just want to i just want to say one thing about that all right just sure. i want to be a little careful congress is not inciting violence maxine waters was doing it as an individual she's a member of congress but congress didn't do it she did it because congress My is a lot of people is 435 people in congress they're not all out there inciting violence Okay, out in Seattle, they had the CHOP Zone, yep. which was raising money to get people out of jail. Um, that emboldens individuals that commit crimes to, to get out of jail and to do it again, since Congress was raising money to spring them from jail. So my example is, is Congress is raising funds <clears throat> to get and we have gun issues because of that. And we, you know, you, individuals in not, Congress not are all, doing it. Not all. What that? Individuals in Congress are doing it. Correct. Well, yeah, that's not Congress. Are doing it. That's not Congress. Congress didn't pass a law about it. Okay, fine. Certain individuals in Congress, yes, are inciting and emboldening. That's correct. To commit that's crime. correct. So when they, okay, so when they do get out of jail. They're just going to do it again because they have a slush fund that bails them out. Yeah, no, I'm I'm agreeing with you. I'm not disagreeing. I I just want to I just want to clarify so the terms. We, sure, no 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 worries. So how do we hold the certain Congress held accountable for their actions? Well, which in, they are emboldening. Unless crime? you live in unless you live in their district, you don't. Because it's up to the district to vote them in or out, and that's the way it's set up in this country, isn't it? Maxine Waters answers to her constituents. We may not like her, but we don't have a say. But when he, when people commit crimes, and isn't somebody held? I, I mean, the individuals all the person who, should be held accountable. The person who commits the Correct. crime should be held accountable. I understand. Yes, and, and I totally agree. But when they're spring, sprung from jail, there's no accountability. And like I said, it just emboldens yeah. people to continue doing I'm, this. I'm agreeing. I'm and agreeing. The, and the, yeah, and the media goes along with it. Well, they report it. I don't know that goes along with it. They report mm. it. You wouldn't know about it if they didn't. You haven't watched MSNBC uh, read. Uh, I, I Joy Reid. No, I don't. Do you watch Fox? Uh, 
I, I watch all stations. Oh, I, good. I, there, I there you go. I, I do I the same thing. Beat on all of them. I do the same thing. Well, yeah, I, I just haven't caught her, okay. but I do get a, I do get a multiple uh, view of things. I didn't understand that. Oh, be quiet. Yeah, and phone. then you got and my phone is talking. CNN, to me. <laughs> CNN had that. Uh, uh, talking about how they had a plan to get Trump out. Well, the next one is going to be gun reform, which I kind of am with them on the, you know, if you could take a, a, a lawyer to jail or a doctor, not, not to jail, but you can bring up charges against a lawyer or a charges against a, a doctor. I, I don't have a problem if they want to change the bill to bring up charges against a police officer. And I think that's what James Clyburn well, if a police officer acts with malfeasance, they can already be brought up. Uh, if a lawyer acts with malfeasance, they can be brought up. A doctor, the same thing. You can get sued. You can get arrested. Uh, I mean, there's all kinds of ramifications out well, there. They, there's nothing different that about that. It's already there. Unions. It's already there. But he says they're, he says they're protected by unions. Um, well, you ask, ask, ask Officer Chauvin about that or ask these other police officers that have been charged recently. You know, it, it, yeah. it's it's easy to say. It's a lot harder to prove. So, all right. Hey, I got to run. I'm late for a break here. Mark, thanks a lot. I appreciate yeah. it. And we will be back with more Lines Are Open for you on the Art Lewis Show. Wearing a mask is more than protection. It's a bridge to better days. The path back to celebrations with family. Nights out on the town with friends. Game days with your favorite sports teams and the thrill of live concerts. But until we can all get the COVID-19 vaccine and build community immunity, which will take time, we all need to continue to stay careful because Michigan's recovery is depending on you. And so are your family, friends, and neighbors. So even after you're vaccinated, wear a mask, avoid large gatherings and social distance. One day in the near future, we will all be able to put this pandemic behind us. But until then, spread hope, not COVID. Learn more at michigan.gov slash coronavirus. The Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. Save today on your next project with 11% off everything. Now at Menards. Menards has a great selection of Suncast storage units. They're ideal for storing all of your outdoor equipment, whether small or large. Right now, get 11% off all Suncast storage units. Save with 11% off everything. Now at Menards. Good through Saturday, April 24th. Savings are mail-in rebate. Some exclusions apply. See store for details. Save big money at Menards. Hi, it's Steve Mann. Have you heard the commercials for the Mark Patrick Stop Smoking seminars? And they said only $49.99 and it could work for you. So I thought, that's not even a week's worth of smoking. So I went. And guess what? It did work for me. You know, my friends and family are still amazed. I quit smoking. I didn't have cravings, anxiety, or weight gain. Listen, I don't know how it works, but I know it works because I'm living proof. And it's 100%. What do you got to lose? I'll tell you what you got to lose. A very bad habit. Stop smoking now without cravings, irritability, weight gain, or your money back. Only $49.99 guaranteed. Hypnosis designed to work without anxiety, irritability, or weight gain. Join Mark Patrick's Hypnosis Seminar and lose the weight or stop smoking for only $49.99 guaranteed or your money back. Because of coronavirus, the seminar is now online live Thursday, April 22nd or Saturday, April 24th for the Saginaw area. Details at MarkPatrickSeminars.com. That's MarkPatrickSeminars.com. Register at MarkPatrickSeminars.com. Hi, everyone. I'm Miss America 2020 Camille Schreier. Join me in support of the DEA's National Prescription Drug Take Back Day, Saturday, April 24th. Please get rid of the unused or expired prescriptions in your medicine cabinet. They could end up lost, stolen, or simply misused. Protect your family and our communities, and let's all keep prescription drugs out of the wrong hands. Keep them safe, clean them out, take them back. Find a collection site near you. Back.com. That's DEA takeback.com. Direct from the Stone Specialist Studios, this is 100.5 and 790 News Radio WSGW. All right, we're back with you on the Art Lewis Show here on WSGW. And, you know, uh, you've heard me say I've seen the future and I've been driving it. Well, it's true. Let me talk to you about Thaler Volkswagen, Audi, Mazda, Subaru, and Bay City. 
had the pleasure of driving a couple of EVs from Thalen. I drove uh, an Audi uh, e-tron sportsback, and I've driven the Volkswagen ID4 electric SUV. Great vehicles, tremendous vehicles. And if you want to say goodbye to gas, it's the way to do it. Say goodbye to gas and hello charging. You can set up at-home charging with the uh, IV with the ID4 Volkswagen on the road DC fast charging at Electrify America LLC for three years. Public charging at over seventeen thousand public chargers nationwide, and that number is going to grow exponentially in the near future. Uh, plus, the Volkswagen ID4 comes with uh, IQ Drive and advanced driver's assistance technology. You'll find lots of those same features uh, in the Audi. Different vehicles, different price points, but both offer electric capability. Drive the future today. Test drive one of them at Thalen. Sit down with a Thalen representative to learn about various tax credits and incentives on electric vehicles. Visit Thalen, Volkswagen, Audi, Subaru, Mazda today on North Euclid Avenue in Bay City. Find them online at thinkthalen.com. Back to our phones. Tony is in Saginaw. Tony, good morning. Hey, I, uh, good morning. Good morning. Hey, I just want to comment. The previous caller, I got to side with the gentleman just a little bit. All of Congress definitely isn't complicit 100%, but their silence speaks volumes. They almost back up Maxine Waters by being complicit until the Democrats start calling out their own shenanigans, they are all a little bit responsible. Wouldn't you agree? Well, I would say that's half of Congress then, not all of Congress. Well, when you have Pelosi. Yeah, but you still, you still, you're still you forgetting about the Republicans. I mean, they've spoken out. I've heard Republicans speak out. Well, Republicans. But when you say Congress, you that, when you say Congress, you've painted them all with one brush. Well, yeah, I see your point. But the Democrats who are complicit, they don't condone their, or condemn their right. own. Absolutely. They're, they have to start doing that, but with Pelosi in office and the, the vast left uh, vocal four squad, whatever you want to call them, that far left section, until yeah. they start uh, denouncing that, mm -hmm. it's not going to happen. So the then Democrats. we should say Democrats rather than Congress. Well, yeah, but I, I your earlier caller, I kind of saw Yeah, no, I understand his point, too. Uh, but yep. I just I just want to make sure because we tend to use these big paintbrushes and they cover way too much. And, and that's, we, we tend to look at, you know, and, and that's it's a problem in this country. We, we take that brush and we paint whole classes of people with it, which it, it's wrong. You, we should be specific when we say something. Well, Words have meaning. The Democrats, one thing the Democrats do that the Republicans don't is the Democrats stick together through thick and thin. They'll back yeah, each other even, even when they know they're wrong. You're probably right about that. Yep. I would just not disagree. Republicans will, will call each other out and rightfully show. So if you're somebody in your party right. is. Uh, but so you, then you just, you just agreed with me. You've done it properly. Yeah. Exactly. No, I, I, Perfect. I mentioned, I saw your point. Yeah. So. Perfect. All right. Tony's got to go on. <laughs> What'd you say? Tony's got to run. Tony's got to run. So does Art. Okay, Tony. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye now. And let's talk to Dean in Saginaw before we take a break here. Dean, good morning to you. Hi, Art. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Hey, I just wanted to call uh, Art and give a shout-out uh, to the vendors at the SURC Marketplace. Yay! I heard the call earlier. Um, you know, it's been obviously a difficult year with the pandemic and shit. Between the vendors inside and our amazing downtown Saginaw, I would absolutely encourage the people are deciding to come down and check out our market this summer. Um, the year before was a difficult growing season for outdoor vendors. And Boy, growth, was it ever. Yep, yeah, bring some blue skies and some new days in downtown Saginaw. So absolutely. I am right? absolutely glad you did, Dean, because that place is wonderful. Uh, it was, uh, you, it's, it's a sort of a rebirth to Saginaw. I know who you are. So, but it's, it's a, it's a, it is a, it was a rebirth to Saginaw and uh, I hope it does very, very well. I hope that it fills all the booths. Uh, I talked to Rachel from time to time and uh, yes, 
and then the, the farmer's market comes along uh, three, four days a week. We're going to get into season. And it's it's a great boon to downtown Saginaw. It has been. And I hope it's been a boon to SVRC. Oh, absolutely. Uh, we, they, the journey has been incredible with the, the businesses that we've helped and that have grown and the expansion we've seen and the people we've met. So definitely been incredible for us. So um, Fantastic. be more thankful. Dean, I appreciate the call anytime. Yep, you're welcome. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye now. All right, we're going to take a break, and we'll be back. Lines are open for you here on WSGW. While we've been staying safe at home, scientists have been on a journey. The destination, a COVID-19 vaccine. This journey began decades ago with research into other coronaviruses. Scientists built from there with months of research and development, cooperation with other experts worldwide, and clinical trials on tens of thousands of volunteers of diverse race, age, and health status. They arrived at a safe, effective vaccine, and hundreds of thousands in Michigan have already been vaccinated. Hours. We need to get the vaccine when we can. Keep wearing masks correctly and taking precautions until we reach our destination, freedom from COVID-19 and getting back to the lives we love. Discover the facts for yourself at michigan.gov slash COVID vaccine. A message from the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. RocketGrabPlus.com This week's deal on RocketGrabPlus.com is for the Vino Wine Warehouse in Bay City. You are going to get a $30 gift certificate to their Spring Festival for only $15. Over 1,000 retail wine items, 16 draft craft beers, and a full liquor section. And to RocketGrabPlus.com right now to snag your deal. RocketGrabPlus.com How clean is your nose? Most airborne germs and allergens invade through the nose, your body's air filter, its first line of defense. You wash your hands and brush your teeth, but what about your nose? Did you know there's an easy way to keep your nose clean and help your body protect itself? It's called Navage Nasal Care. Navage uses powered suction to clean your nose by flushing out pollen, mucus, bacteria, and viruses. Millions use Navage for fat from sinus congestion and allergies and to breathe better, sleep deeper, snore less, and feel healthier without drugs. Navage is easy to use, affordable, and it comes with an absolute guarantee of satisfaction. And 50,000 independent online reviews averaging 4.7 stars show just how much people love their Navage. You wash your hands and brush your teeth every day. Now you can clean your nose and help protect your health with Navage. At Navage.com, CVS, Walgreens, Bed Bath & Beyond, Target, and Rite Aid. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Make good nasal hygiene your new normal with Navage. Clean nose, healthy life. On the battlefield, as military men and women live by, never leave a fallen warrior behind, ever. Off the battlefield, Wounded Warrior Project operates with the same goal. Wounded Warrior Project was created to help our men and women returning home with the scars of war, whether those scars are physical or mental. Wounded Warrior Project, we never leave a fallen warrior behind, ever. Learn more about what we do at WoundedWarriorProject.org. Your home for the Tigers is WSGW. Line drive down the left field line, hooking. Go on a home run! Renato Nunez. Fly ball off the bat of Akil Badu. This one's deep. And it's gone! A home run! Badu! The Tigers go back to back. Tigers baseball. Brought to you in part by Ed Raymond and Sons in downtown Chesaning. Your local auto owners agents, including Rummel Agency, Mayan Agency, and Buck Insurance Agency. The Tigers play on WSGW. And we're back with you here on WSGW. Our program brought to you by Linda Shepard at Pinnacle Realty. 989-295-3900 is the number to call for your residential and commercial real estate needs. Linda Shepard at Pinnacle Realty, sponsoring the Art Lewis Show. And we thank her very, very much for that. Uh, You ready to fly to Europe? I'm not. (laughs) But if you are, airlines are adding flights to countries that are relaxing COVID-19 restrictions 
for vaccinated visitors. Now, I think I still want to know how we're going to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that we're vaccinated. That little card you have can easily be fudged. But uh, United Airlines said it's going to offer new flights to Croatia, Greece, and Iceland beginning in July. Delta Airlines announced plans to begin daily service from Boston to Iceland in May and resume Iceland flights from JFK and Minneapolis. American will fly to Athens, Greece. And uh, if you're planning on traveling in the United States, check each state, because I noticed uh, that the state of Maine, for example, where we have a trip planned this summer, has relaxed their restrictions for those who are vaccinated. So it's changing on a daily basis. Maria is in Saginaw. Maria, good morning. Good morning. Hello, Art. Hi. Thank you for taking my call. Sure. It always seems like there's so much information to process. Everything happens so quickly. I just wanted to just, uh, say something about the coronavirus. I hope that everybody is getting vaccinated and wearing masks because I'm really hopeful for the summer. I'm hopeful. Everything will, can go back to normal. It's been so long since I've been anywhere, but I try to stay home and be safe. So I'm really trying to be hopeful. And um, you were talking about the Supreme Court, back the courts. One thing I'd like to know is to hear from the Supreme Court justices themselves. It seems like it. I would like to know what they think about it. I know that when there's differences between what someone wants and someone doesn't want, there's somebody in the middle who's a moderator, and we've lost great justices, Scalia, um, Ruth Bader. Mm -hmm. These people that will come in, I hope that the Supreme Court that is in there now well, I can will tell you, work with them. I can tell you this, Maria. The justices were polled. And they are pretty much all against packing the court, changing it from what it is now. Both sides. It would be it would be so different because everything would change. Everything. Would, well, it would, would be a political. Change. It would be a political difference. They're doing it for political reasons. They want to. They want to pack the court so they get the political advantage. I mean, it's that's what it's about. It's all about the politics of the day, unfortunately, rather than right and wrong, and. Uh, Yes. So that's that's the reason for it. Yes, but I think it would be so nice in what they want. It seems like everybody makes rules for people who don't have a say over what they want, like the schools. Well, you do have a say, do. though. You vote for your school board. You vote for your representatives. You may not always like what they do. But that's the American way. We vote for the people that represent us and make those rules. And if we don't like the people making the rules, then we need to vote them out. You need to get enough people to agree with you and vote for somebody else. Uh, that's the American system, and it's worked pretty well for us for 240-some-odd years, whatever it is. Yes, it has. Thing is happening so quickly. Well, I just would like it to slow down a little bit. So people yeah. can discuss. Yeah, what's that going I, on. I I agree with you there, and you know what's prevented that social media has changed us, and not in a good way, not in a good way. Maria, I have to go because I'm out of time. But call again. We'll talk more. I appreciate it. Thank you, dear. And uh, we'll take our last break, and then we'll be back to close out this hour of the Art Lewis Show. But we will have open phones next hour for you. We'll be back. Jim Wilson, are customers surprised to find such a big selection of used vehicles here at Midland Ford Lincoln? I've had many people tell me this is the best selection of used cars and trucks they've seen in quantity, but in the quality of our vehicles. You seem to have the cars and trucks everyone is looking for. Hard to find models you'd expect to find only in classified ads by private parties. Our volume sales means customers always have a bigger selection of better quality cars. Our minimum pricing policy means Midland Ford customers always pay less. But better doesn't mean more expensive. You have cars and trucks in every price and payment range, even for the tightest budgets. 
from inexpensive basic transportation to late model luxury and a great selection of trucks. We have what you're looking for. We currently have more tough Ford trucks and used escapes and explorers than we've ever had in our history. America's falling in love with Ford, and you have a personal invitation to find at Midland Ford Lincoln, your savings store, or go to MidlandFord.com. We need the forklift over here. Indeed knows unexpected growth can stretch your business thin. Okay, those molds need to be adjusted. The shippers are coming at noon, so we got to get this done. Like a Dennis's plastic startup, to stay flexible, he needs to get started hiring right, right away. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. And the moment you sponsor a job on Indeed, you get a short list of quality candidates from our resume database. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get a $75 credit for your first sponsored job post. Terms and conditions apply. 2020 was a challenging year, but things are looking up, including the stock market's performance. Hi, I'm Ken Moray, Senior Advisor at Retirement Planners of America. If you are 50 or older, call us today to schedule a free consultation to learn more about our invest and protect strategy that is designed to help mitigate the risk of the stock market. Call us today at 800-375-1159 to schedule your free assessment. That's 800-375-1159. WSGW is looking for pictures you capture of storm damage, fires, traffic crashes, and more, plus positive and inspirational scenes, too. You can be a contributor to the WSGW News Team when you witness breaking news. Our newsroom as we team up together to cover the Great Lakes Bay region on air and online with 100.5 and 790 News Radio WSGW. All right, that'll do it for this hour. We'll be back after the news with another open hour here on the Art Lewis Show for this Monday morning. Glad to be with you. We'll talk to you soon. The Stone Specialist Studios. This is WSGW, Saginaw, Bay City, Midland, WSGW FM, Carlton. This is CBS News on the Hour, presented by Indeed.com. I'm Steve Futterman in Minneapolis. I just want justice, and that's it. It's time that we hold these officers accountable. The views of two people as the trial of Derek Chauvin, accused of murdering George Floyd, enters its final stage. Today, then the case will go to the jury. The arguments today are likely in some ways to be similar to what the two sides said last month in their opening statements. Prosecutor Jerry Blackwell. When Mr. Floyd was in distress, Mr. Chauvin... Wouldn't help him. Defense attorney Eric Nelson has argued the issues in the case are complex. The use of force is not attractive, but it is a necessary component of policing. There is increased security in parts of the downtown area here. Metal and concrete barricades have been put up. Many businesses have boarded their windows. I'm Steve Futterman in Minneapolis. Now with more CBS News, here's Deborah Rodriguez. We Texas, a former sheriff's deputy, is under arrest in three shooting deaths in an apartment complex in Austin yesterday. Police say they found Stephen Broderick walking along a rural road in the suburb of Manor just a couple of hours ago. The victims reportedly include his wife, his teenage daughter, and her high school football star boyfriend. They're remembering in Oklahoma City. <laughs> A ceremony has just gotten underway, marking the 26th anniversary of the deadliest terror attack on U.S. soil before 9-11. A man named Timothy McVeigh drove a truck full of explosives into the Alfred P. Murrah Federal Building in Oklahoma City, killing 168. was put to death by lethal injection six years later. A tiny helicopter lifted off from Mars today, making history in the process. CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood. Ingenuity had to carry out the flight on its own without any guidance from Earth, but it worked like a dream, and the engineers of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory are absolutely thrilled with the results. They compare it to the Wright brothers' first flight in 1903. Some of Britain's biggest soccer teams are joining Europe's Super League. CBS's Vicki Barker says fans are stunned. Europe's governing body UEFA has just announced that any players that compete in the proposed Super League will be banned from playing in the European and World Cup tournaments. They will not for their national teams. 
Butter the popcorn and gather round, Downton fans. Mary's got it under control. Hardly. Producers have just announced a movie sequel with the original cast. It'll be released this December 22nd. The Dow is down 109 points in early trading. This is CBS News. When you're hiring, there's no luxury of time. So instead of waiting for people to see your sponsored post, invite them to apply. More at Indeed.com slash credits. Spring is just around the corner, which means it's the perfect time to finish your interior project before heading outside to enjoy the weather. This is Mike from Westside. With those projects, we've started our spring decorating sale. Stop in today for huge savings on window treatments, flooring, and paint. These products are up to 30% off. Call us today at 793-6182 or stop by our showroom. Everything you need is in one location. West Side Decorating Center, 5789 State Street in Saginaw Township. Liberty Mutual Insurance Company presents and Doug. Okay, class, let's bump it up to nine. Come on, Limu, keep peddling. We got to build our endurance to let more people know that Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance. So you only pay for what you need. Hey, third legs. Hey, don't talk to Limu like that. I'm not, I'm talking to you. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Get a customized quote at LibertyMutual.com. Is your credit card debt piling up? Pacific Debt can help. Pacific Debt is the nation's friendliest debt settlement company. With an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau and thousands of five-star reviews on sites like Trustpilot and Best Company, they can settle your debt for a fraction of what you owe. In fact, they've settled over $300 million, helping people just like you. Get a monthly program payment you can afford and zero upfront fees. Get free information now. 800-281-9981. 800-281-9981. 99. Joe Cordell with the law firm Cordell and Cordell. When the prospect of divorce becomes a reality, you need a partner that you can count on. If you're a man in this situation, consider contacting Cordell and Cordell. We've helped men navigate complex legal matters for 30 years. Contact Cordell and Cordell to schedule an appointment with one of our firm's Detroit area attorneys, a partner men can count on. On Cordell.com. That's CordellCordell.com. Offices in Troy and Ann Arbor. Live from the 100.5 and 790 Newsroom. GW News. It's 54 degrees at 10.05. Good Morris can expect some road closures starting tonight in Bay County along I-75. The Michigan Department of Transportation will close I-75 under Parrish Road to accommodate bridge deck removal. The $29 million project will resurface nearly five miles of I-75 from Beaver Road to Cottage Grove Road. Closures will take place between Beaver Road and Linwood Road overnight between 9 p.m. First can follow the posted detour via M13 and the US-23 connector. The Michigan Department of Transportation will invest $10.5 million to improve more than eight and a half miles of concrete pavement along the I- Order. This project includes work on 36 bridge and culvert structures to address steel improvements, bridge deck services, railing upgrades, and painting. Crews will begin work starting April 19th with shoulder and intermittent single lane closures to begin staging the work zone and addressing work to the Veterans Memorial Parkway Bridge spanning I-675. Concrete pavement patching is expected to start Work will last through November, then resume in April of next year. The project should be finished by June 2022. The annual cleanup Bay City Earth Day event will be returning this weekend. WS Antonio has more. Residents will be able to drop off hard to recycle items for free from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the new Bay City Recycles drop off location at the former transfer station at 2900 North Water Street. Bay City has been participating in Earth Day for over 25 years, but last year's cleanup event was canceled because of the pandemic. City Parks and Environmental Affairs Manager Tim Bozzo says he's glad the event is he is his number one concern. We're very happy to bring this event back this year. Our biggest concern is the safety of our employees. Without our employees, we can't get our job done. We need our residents in the vehicles, and we're glad you want to help, but maybe next year we'll be able to do that. 
Some materials accepted at no charge during the event include cell phones, dehumidifiers, printer cartridges, and freezers and refrigerators. There are some exceptions to select items, like a limit of 10 off-rim tires per visitor, and only passenger vehicle tires can be dropped off. The city will not accept batteries, books, car parts, furniture, old computer monitors, scrap metal, or yard waste. Rick Antonio, News Radio 100.5 and 790. WSGW News Time, 1007. Experienced it at one time or another. You know, one of those days, weeks, or months where life being unexpectedly laid off and trying to figure out how to make ends meet until I find another job? Yes. You mean like my emergency fund getting drained due to car repairs? Exactly. When you need somewhere to turn, turn to us. We're Members First Credit Union. Let us ends loan. We're offering super low rates and a variety of terms. Get some peace of mind and money to use for all sorts of things. Emergency home repairs, everyday essentials, bills, utilities, and more. That would be a life changer for me right now. Thanks. I was worried about getting my roof leak fixed. Wow, that's huge. Get started and apply now at Members First Credit Union. When life happens, it's important to Federally insured by NCUA. Equal housing opportunity. Subject to credit approval. Get up to one half percentage point APR off your loan rate based on your relationship with the credit union. WSGW News Time is 1008. The City of Midland has launched a new website to provide information on the city's modern master plan. Residents will find a variety of information and resources related to the city's master planning process, including public input opportunities, community survey results, and status updates as the plan moves forward. The site also offers resources about key topics related to the master plan update, neighborhoods and livability, transportation and mobility, and sustainability. Visit MidlandCityModern.com for more information. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service plans to conduct prescribed burns in the coming weeks at Chiawassee National Wildlife Refuge Several hundred acres of grasslands will be burned to improve wildlife habitat. Particular dates of the burn are dependent on appropriate weather and it will be conducted only if conditions are favorable. Prior to the prescribed burn, local communities, fire departments, townships, and adjacent landowners will be contacted. It looks like those who make the most money are the office. They'd rather continue working from home. Here's more from business editor at the Michigan News Network, Murray Feldman. Those who are making more than $80,000 a year are concerned about going back into the office. They are 60% more likely to try to fight it than those who make less. A study by the site safety.com reports 35% of Americans are concerned about traveling on public transportation and about 15% say they're concerned about traveling to and from work. Most small business owners have ways to get COVID-19 vaccinations. Nearly half will give workers paid time off to get the shots according to the small business support group, Reimagine Main Street. Murray Feldman, Michigan News Network. When you see news happening, call the WSGW Newsroom, 752-0790. It's 1010. I'm Ann Williams. Here's your WSGW weatherology forecast. A blend of clouds and some sunshine developing today with areas of light. It's Tonight, mainly cloudy, low near 31, breezy winds. Tuesday, mainly cloudy, high near 40. Tuesday night, lots of clouds. Areas of rain, then some snow, low near 28. High near 43 on Wednesday, lots of sunshine. Wednesday night, clear to partly cloudy, low near 28. High near 54 on Thursday, mainly sunny. Thursday night, mainly clear, low near 38. High near 62 on Friday, mainly sunny. A meteorologist, Laura Lockwood, with a WSUW Weatherology. Now 53. Now, the only local radio talk show offering you the chance to ask your questions and express your opinions. From around your block to around the world, the Art Lewis Show is on 100.5 and 790 WSGW and online WSGW.com. And a good morning to you. Welcome. Welcome back to uh, the Art Lure Show here on WSGW. We are uh, glad to have you with us this morning. And it'll be open phones this hour. We uh, would be delighted to hear and talk to you about 
anything uh, that's on your mind this morning, give us a call and let's chat about it at 752-6111. Toll free 866-790-WSGW. That's inside the state of Michigan. Outside, call 989-752-6111. One note, the judge in the Derek Chauvin case in Minneapolis is issuing instructions to the jury right now and closing arguments will begin uh, today and probably end today and then the jury will be sequestered until they have a verdict. They are uh, considering three different charges, uh, second and third degree murder and manslaughter. And uh, each one carries different penalties. They could convict him on all three. They could quit him on all three. They could acquit him on two and convict him on one. Time will tell. We'll have to wait and see. I do not expect it to be a quick verdict. I would expect that uh, they're going to take their time and do it right, I hope. You know, let's let's be uh, fair about it. The defendant has the right to a, a fair trial by a jury of his peers. And they have the obligation to consider all the evidence and do the fact finding before they come up with a verdict. So uh, we will leave it in the hands of the jury and uh, assume or hope they come to the right decision. Anyway, to our phones, Jim is in Freeland to start this hour off. Jim, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Nice to hear your voice again. Ah, Same here. (laughs) Well, anyway... Um, kind of listening to the program this morning and, you know, there's kind of the shootings and a lot of, you know, down news. So anyway, when we were coming home yesterday from a trip, we were crossing, you know, 57 to 52 to Freeland. So, but I noticed on 57, oh, a lot of the little white pickup bags there. And I thought, boy, somebody's been really oh, the- two, three miles. Here comes a group of young folks. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I don't know, high school or junior high age with some chaperones. And they were picking up, they must have picked up three, four, five miles. Just kind of highlight the good things in people. And we honked and they all waved and it was a, a good feeling. Yep, that's you know, that is so you know, neat. Doing their stuff. That, that's interesting you bring that up because I had not heard about the, particularly with COVID-19, we haven't heard much about, you know, the highway cleanup projects where, where groups get assigned a, a hunk of road and clean it up. Uh, we hadn't heard much about it. I'm glad to know people are doing it. Yeah, they day, and it was you know hardly no traffic on 57, and it was a a good thing to see. It made you feel good. Absolutely, glad to another, hear about it. Another comment, another comment. Well, can my travels from? I've always thought there was a lot of dead deer on the side of the road. You know, seasonal from Claire to let's say Freeland exit. The last time I came home from the cottage, I counted 35 dead deer. Well, oh. a lot of them were from over winter. Yeah. You know, rib cages exposed and stuff like that. But on our recent trip from Florida, deer, three of them were in Michigan. Two were on the stretch from, let's say, Indianapolis uh, home. Mm-hmm. But that's amazing. Yeah. I think uh, well, we you want to have a great, great. You want to hear something more population. amazing? You want to hear something more amazing? We just got a press release from the state police. An adult black bear was killed on a highway in Flint. Oh, wow. I don't know if it was 75 or 475, but one of the major highways, an adult black bear. uh, I don't know that the person that hit it stopped because apparently they're investigating. But, yep, an adult black bear in the middle of Flint. Think about that. Well, one of our neighbors, he worked for DNR kind of, you know, during the hunting season just to help out as a retirement, you know, gig, give him something to do. And he did say that the deer, the bear are moving down from the north down to. Um, yeah, they go where the food is. You know, where the food is. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. All right. But anyway, that was my observation. And that's it. You know, that's to the. See those young people out. That's the, the good news and bad news about Michigan. The good news is we're a wonderful state for nature and to see these animals uh, in, in their yep. normal environments. And the bad news is we have so many of these animals, <laughs> they're moving into the neighborhoods. So, 
Yeah, uh, that's for sure. Well, all anyway, right. Hey, Jim. Day. Thank you. Thanks for calling. Take care. Bye bye now. Uh, Jim and Freeland. Speaking of Freeland, the Walleye Festival coming up pretty quick here. Uh, we'll tell you more about it as we get toward the weekend, but uh, that time already. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Uh, lines open for you. Give us a call here on the Art Lewis Show. 752-6111, toll free, 866-790-WSGW. We'll put you in touch with us and uh, chat about whatever's on your mind. We have talked uh, a little bit. I want to bring this up before we get back to the phones here. Talked a little bit about uh, star power going into politics, people with names that are well-known. Matthew McConaughey, I mentioned this last week, was uh, considering a run for governor in Texas. If he did it today, he has a double-digit lead over the current governor. Star power doesn't hurt you, does it? Uh, Mount Pleasant is where we go now. We'll find Jack there. Good morning, Jack. Hey, good morning. Yeah, what's up? Yeah. So, uh, you know, talking about Supreme Court and guns and all this stuff, there's an interesting quote from Ben Franklin. He said this, the U.S. Constitution is likely to be administered for, <clears throat> for a course of years, then end in depotism, when the people shall become so corrupted as to need despotic government being incapable of any other. I think what he recognized is, you know, those are the ground rules, but the people had the right to vote and, you know, form the government. But he also recognized historically that's what the thing is the government just gets to the point the desire for power the corruption or eventually you just get a tyrannical government with a dictator now it hasn't happened yet but maybe we're on our way there who knows who knows i mean but and also remember this founding fathers gave us the tools to change the constitution they didn't make that's it exactly easy right. They didn't make it easy on purpose because they didn't want it changed for political reasons. And that's what all this debate is today. It's all about politics. Yeah. You know, there, there is, I feel, what do they call that? It's like there's voting going on by the state legislatures, right? Where in the Constitution, you know, to call, or I forget what they call it. I mean, the Constitutional Convention? Together. Thank Con you, yeah. And, and so far, I think I'm going by memory. It's like 24 states so far have approved of it, and they need a majority, right? So they need 37. Yeah. Here's the, here's the problem with a CONCON is that it's not topic-specific. In other words, That's you right. might say, let's have a CONCON to talk about changing the uh, life tenancy of a Supreme Court justice uh, change no. the language from serve for good behavior until good behavior, uh, change it to put a term limit in. Unfortunately, no. when you hold a constitutional convention, you can't limit the topic. It opens it up to everything. Oh, yeah. And therein no, lies the problem. Work. Yep. That's the problem. That's right. And then just on the last note, if I could, Art, that thing, you know, hearing the talk about guns and stuff, right, wrong, or indifferent. I think what the framers recognized too that things could evolve. It, it all depends on opinion. You know, people talk about why do you need a magazine and a high powered rifle and the automatic rifles? Well, I think you know I think one should government to have the highest powered weapons over the people. Because let's face it, there's been a civil war. There's been a revolution. Yeah. Who's to say that can occur That's again? Sure. And the, uh, the founding fathers were most worried about a tyrannical government. The founding fathers gave the people all the tools to watchdog their government. They gave them all yeah. the tools. They gave them a free press to tell them what the government is up to. Uh, they gave them the right to protest. They gave them the right to bear arms. All of these things with the intention of keeping the government in check, not the people in check. That's right. That's so. right. All right. You're a very smart man, well-informed. I was like talking to you. Same and, here, Jack. Uh, I'll tell you, the Constitution is really an amazing thing when you think about it. it really oh, is. considering its survivability, it absolutely is. All right. Appreciate yeah. it, Jack. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye now.
All right, that opens up the lines, and uh, you can give us a call here on the Art Lewis Show for this Monday morning. Our show is sponsored by Linda Shepard at Pinnacle Realty. For your residential and commercial real estate needs, give Linda a call at Pinnacle Realty, 989-295-3900. Particularly if you have a house to sell right now, this is the time. It is a seller's market. We'll take a break, and we'll be back with more lines open for you on the Art Lewis Show. Give us a call on this Tuesday morning. It's been a challenging year, and Consumers Energy knows asking for help can be hard, but finding it doesn't have to be. If you need help with your energy and other bills, call 211 or visit mi211.org for access to the help you need. RocketGrabPlus.com The days of paying full price are over. And at RocketGrabPlus.com, we are back with some killer deals just for you. You can get tons of half-off deals going on right now from Cafe 1-3, the Frankenmuth Aerial Park, Woody's Hot Dogs, King's Fish and More, Beer Garden, and High Country Jumpers. Half-off? Yeah, it's true. And it's all at RocketGrabPlus.com. RocketGrabPlus. Hi everyone, I'm Miss America 2020 Camille Schreier. Join me in support of the DEA's National Prescription Drug Take Back Day, Saturday, April 24th. Please get rid of the unused or expired prescriptions in your medicine cabinet. They could end up lost, stolen, or simply misused. Protect your family and our communities, and let's all keep prescription drugs out of the wrong hands. Keep them safe, clean them out, take them back. Find a collection site near you at DEATakeBack.com. That's DEATakeBack.com. Hi, this is Joe Cordell with the law firm Cordell & Cordell. When the prospect of divorce becomes a reality, you need a partner that you can count on. If you're a man in this situation, consider con We've helped men navigate complex legal matters for 30 years. Contact Cordell & Cordell to schedule an appointment with one of our firm's Detroit area attorneys, a partner men can count on. Online at CordellCordell.com. That's CordellCordell.com. Offices in Troy and Ann Arbor. I'm Neil Cavuto, and this is the Fox Business Report. Wall Street kicks off the trading week in the red as investors await earnings reports this week from dozens of U.S. companies, among them Netflix, Verizon Communications, American Airlines, and Coca-Cola. The beverage maker announcing sales in the first quarter increased 5%. Senate Republican Josh Hawley. Another piece of legislation targeting big tech companies. The Bust Up Big Tech Act would ban companies like Amazon and Google from simultaneously running an online marketplace and selling goods on that marketplace. All he's saying it's past time to restore competition and give power back to the American consumers. It took more than seven years of planning and building to complete one of the biggest casino projects on the Las Vegas Strip. Resorts World Las Vegas announcing it will open its doors June 24th. The company also says reservations have begun for more than 3,500 rooms at its three Hilton branded hotels. That's your Fox Business Report. I'm Steve Rappaport, invested in you. Spring has arrived and so have all new Untucket styles. Check out our new wrinkle-free shirts that every guy needs as the weather warms up. And don't forget our famous polos, the official shirts of spring. Untucket shirts are designed to be worn untucked and will look great as we get back to the things we've been missing, like dinner with friends, reuniting with family, going on vacations, and yes, even heading back to the office. Untucket shirts designed to be worn untucked. Use code TAKE20 for 20% off your first purchase at untuckit.com. There's never any FOMO with the iHeartRadio app. You won't ever have to miss out on your favorite shows and contests with this radio station again. Radio 24. We're here when you want us. Stay connected and listen anywhere when you download the free iHeartRadio app. How clean is your nose? Most airborne germs and allergens invade through the nose, your body's air filter, its first line of defense. You wash your hands and brush your teeth, but what about your nose? Did you know there's an easy way to keep your nose clean and help your body protect itself? It's called Navage Nasal Care. Navage uses powered suction to clean your nose by flushing out pollen, mucus, bacteria, and viruses. Millions use Navage for fast, all-natural relief from sinus congestion and allergies and to breathe better, sleep deeper, snore less, and feel healthier without drugs. Navage is easy. 
and it comes with an absolute guarantee of satisfaction. And 50,000 independent online reviews averaging 4.7 stars show just how much people love their Navage. You wash your hands and brush your teeth every day. Now you can clean your nose and help protect your health with Navage. At Navage.com, CVS, Walgreens, Bed Bath & Beyond, Target, and Rite Aid. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Make good nasal hygiene your new normal with Navage. Clean nose, healthy life. So here's what we're going to do. The Ramsey Show. If you want to be a millionaire, you need to learn what millionaires do and do what they do. You have to think through this stuff. The Ramsey Show, weeknights at 10 on WSGW. All right, we're back with you here on the Art Lewis Show on WSGW. Uh, by the way, you space enthusiasts and drone enthusiasts like I am, NASA has successfully flown an independent aircraft on Mars. A little helicopter called Ingenuity lifted off this morning, or yesterday, late yesterday, I guess. It would have been this morning around here, and flew for a little over 30 seconds. Uh, it didn't get much more than 10 feet above the ground but they had to prove its reliability and prove that it actually can fly in a 1% dense atmosphere. Because remember that Mars's atmosphere is 1% of what our atmosphere is. So if we have a dense atmosphere at 100%, it's easy to fly drones with small propellers. Not so easy on a planet that only has a 1% atmosphere. My drone with six blades probably wouldn't get off the ground. They created huge rotors, much bigger than the average drone, carbon fiber, different sizes, with the ability to uh, have a collective pitch, which means the blades can twist, and it actually worked. It got off the ground for about 30 seconds. They're going to use it. And others in the future, remember, this is, you know, this is the Model T of, uh, of air exploration of planets. Who knows what future drones and aerial craft will look like on these planets. But it's something to cheer about. It, it amazes me, truly amazes me, the technology that we are capable of in this country to be able to, first of all, build a device that has a certain amount of artificial intelligence, and then to be able to control that device, it takes about 12 minutes for the signal sent from NASA to reach the aircraft and tell it what to do, and it takes that equal amount of time to get back confirmation. It just is amazing it's what 292 million miles away something like that and yet they are able to control it they were able to build it so it actually works and even at times when they have a fault think of the hubble telescope they built the hubble telescope sent it up into space and it had a problem it didn't focus right so what did they do? They didn't discard it. No, they set up a crew on a spacewalk and fixed it in space. Can you imagine living a um, hundred years ago and somebody telling you, oh, we're going to put a telescope up in space and look at the planets. And if it doesn't work, we'll just send somebody up to fix it. Can you imagine the looks you'd get in the, uh, say, 1920s, <laughs> you know, Think about it. Think about how special it is. What were you doing, for example, when we first landed on the moon and Neil Armstrong stepped off the spacecraft and uttered his famous words? I'll bet you can remember exactly where you were, if you, particularly if you were watching it. I mean, if you didn't care and you didn't give a twit about it, yeah, Okay, so be it. But for most people, 
certain things happen in your life and you can instantly recall where you were when they happened. Landing on the moon was one of them. 9-11, unfortunately, was another. The day you got married, the day you had your first child, these are all things that are indelibly etched in your memory. And space has been one of those for this country because we made, early on, a very big deal about it, starting with President Kennedy and his admonition to put our, our astronauts on the moon within a certain period of time, and we did it. And the country was enthralled because it's universal. It brings everybody together. We can all be proud of it. And it is as true today as it was then, even more so today, because maybe we need it more today. Maybe we need these good news kinds of things that we were getting regularly when the space flights were in their experimental periods and every launch was televised, every spacewalk, all the incredible achievements, all the products we gained from it. Maybe we need that again. Maybe there is something to spending money to sending people to space. Now, you know, Mars, I, I don't know. I, I guess if, if, if we can learn anything from it that's useful to us, okay. The moon, sure, okay. I don't have a problem going to the moon. But every time we have, we've learned something. We've created products to make it happen. The technology in your cell phone today, in my hand, right now I have my cell phone. This particular cell phone is a uh, Samsung Note 20. There is more power in this cell phone, computing power, than was used to land Neil Armstrong on the moon. Think about that. We all walk around with little supercomputers in our pocket. Good news, bad news, of course. Good news is we can do anything with them we want. Bad news is bad guys can find out about us anytime they want. But we readily carry these things around with more power than the huge computers NASA used to land on the moon. Think of what the future's like. I mean, you know, we sit here and we say to ourselves, wow, we got everything now. Look at this. The technology is wonderful. A hundred years from now, people will look back at us and say, how primitive were they? I can't imagine what that future is like. I cannot imagine what the future will be like. Will it be George Jetson? Will we all be flying around in individual little spacecraft and Doing things like that, will we figure ways to transport ourselves? Beam me up, Scotty. You know, you wonder sometimes when you look at uh, science fiction movies, starting with Flash Gordon. Well, how about Dick Tracy? He used to carry a watch, and he could talk to his watch, and he'd get information on his watch. Well, gee, that's commonplace today. Flash Gordon shot up to the moon. Ah, we've done that, Flash. It's old news now. You really have to think about Star Trek and, and uh, all of those things and Star Wars and how much of that futuristic science will become reality. I won't be around to see it. You won't be around to see it. But it would be fun to be able to look back and see where the planet has come. Just think of all the things we've gained from space exploration. It's been, been pretty amazing. And, you know, we're still in the throes of it. It's still relatively, relatively young when you think about it. 
All right, I've got to take a break here. Lines are open for you. Saginaw Bay City, 752-6111. In Michigan, the toll-free is 866-790-WSGW. Outside the state of Michigan, 989-752-6111. Should we spend money to go to Mars? Talk about that. More ahead on the Art Lewis Show. We'll be back. So, what do you think? You nailed the custom cabinets. <laughs> <laughs> and the countertop is perfect. It makes the space. I'm in love with my kitchen again. Premier Kitchen and Bath Gallery Showroom and Design makes your dream spaces a reality with custom cabinetry and a variety of countertop options like Corian, granite, and quartz, offering both in-store and in-home personalized consultation. We're with you from inspiration to installation. Your dream space... Premier Kitchen and Bath Gallery.com. Bader and Sons Company is your local John Deere dealer. We are here to help you farm Michigan. We offer replacement parts like filters, belts, and hoses for your equipment. You'll find them in store and online at greentractors.com. With John Deere's Good Better Best Parts Program, combined with our trained parts pros, we can help you find the parts you need. Count on us to provide the service your equipment deserves in our 10 service shops or in the field. Let Bader and Sons Company show you why we have the service and the parts. While we've been staying safe at home, scientists have been on a journey. The destination, a COVID-19 vaccine. This journey began decades ago with research into other coronaviruses. Scientists built from there with months of research and development, cooperation with other experts worldwide, and clinical trials on tens of thousands of volunteers of diverse race, age, and health status. They arrived at a safe, effective vaccine, and hundreds have already been vaccinated. But the next step is ours. We need to get the vaccine when we can. Keep wearing masks correctly and taking precautions until we reach our destination, freedom from COVID-19 and getting back to the lives we love. Discover the facts for yourself at michigan.gov slash COVID vaccine. A message from the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. When the forgotten poor are in need of healing, they wait for a ship unlike any other. Mercy Ships, a floating hospital staffed by volunteers, heroes of mercy who donate their time to save human has the right to have a place at the table of the human race. If you could just see the smiles that you get when lives have been changed, then it would make it all worth it. To learn more about Heroes of Mercy, go to mercyships.org. Hi, this is Joe Cordell with the law firm Cordell & Cordell. When the prospect of divorce becomes a reality, you need a partner that you can count on. If you're a man in this situation, consider contacting Cordell & Cordell. We've helped men navigate complex legal matters for 30 years. Contact Cordell & Cordell to schedule an appointment with one of our firm's Detroit area attorneys, a partner men can count on, online at CordellCordell.com. That's Cordell Cordell. This is in Troy and Ann Arbor. For the ones who know safety isn't a catchphrase, it's a culture. And the ones who help make sure everyone makes it home safe. For the safety-minded who watch everyone's backs, Granger offers supplies and solutions for every industry, as well as safety assessments and training to keep your facilities safe and your people safer. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. I'm Dr. Andrea Russo, a cardiologist. Maybe you're waiting to talk to your doctor right now, but if you're having an irregular heartbeat, heart racing, of breath, fatigue, or lightheadedness, don't wait. This could be a serious condition like atrial fibrillation, which can make you about five times more likely to have a stroke. If you're having these symptoms, don't wait. Talk to a doctor by phone, online, or in person. Brought to you by Bristol Myers Squibb and Pfizer. On air and online from the Stone Specialist Studios, this is 100.5 and 790 News Radio WSGW. All right, we're back with you here on the Art Lewis Show. We're talking about uh, space exploration and all the advancements and uh, how they have the ability to land on the moon, fly a helicopter on Mars. Uh, and 
here on Earth, we're trying to build autonomous automobiles. And every now and then we're reminded that we're not there yet. There was a fatal Texas crash of a Tesla Model S. And according to the police, no one was behind the wheel. So from that, we would have to assume the car was in its self-driving mode, its autonomous mode. And according to the police, what happened is the car was traveling at a high rate of speed. It got to a curve in the road and it did not follow the curve, crossed the road, hit a tree, and there were three fatalities in the car. It just goes to show that we shouldn't be rushed into this false sense of security that cars are autonomous and that everything is honky-dory, ready to roll. It is not. And I've said this for years. I can remember talking to listeners maybe five years ago saying that, oh, I don't know, I think self-driving cars, reliable self-driving cars and reliable electric cars are probably 10 years down the road. And that was probably five years ago. And I still think we're at least five years away, if not more, from fully autonomous vehicles that we can rely on to get us from point A to point B. Now, I know there's a lot of development going on. There is a heck of a lot of development in the electric vehicle marketplace. No two ways about it. Because there is going to be a demand. There absolutely will be a demand for electric vehicles. And it's either going to come from us, the buyer, because that's what we want. Or it's going to be forced upon us by the manufacturers because that's what they're going to sell. Either way, the future of the electric vehicle is strong. And as battery expectancy increases, as vehicles get more and more range, we are going to be more and more inclined to look at them. Now, I, I have mentioned uh, that I, uh, a week and a half or so ago, two weeks ago, I got to drive two electric vehicles from Thalen. I got to drive an Audi e-tron sportsback, a full-size car full-size car, all electric, had a range of about 250 to 260 miles. I only used it around town for four or five days, and when I took it back, I still had about 125 miles in the battery that I could have used. Around town, perfect, because I didn't have any way to charge it. I don't have a charging station at home. And then after that, they put me in the Volkswagen ID4, and drove it around town with about the same range. Actually, when I got in it, it said I had 313 miles or 315 miles of range. But that quickly went down because one of the things about electric vehicles is everything in the car is electric. If you set your air conditioner to be really cool and it runs a lot, you're eating up battery. If you're in cold weather and you have to use the heater a lot, you're using up the battery, and that affects your miles. And the gauges, all these cars have gauges that tell you how many miles you have left in your battery. So the more accessories you are prone to use, it takes away from your miles, and you can see them drop. I got into that Volkswagen, and it was fully charged, and it showed 313 or 15 miles when we turned it on which, by the way, <laughs> was done by the seat of your pants. You put the key in your pocket. When you sit in the car, it automatically turns itself on. Just sitting in the car, everything comes alive. And it will tell you the estimated mileage. But the minute I started to drive and had the AC on and things of that nature, 
that mileage dropped off by 40 miles instantly. And by the time I got home, it was down to like 300 and uh, 230 miles. And I'd only driven about 19 miles or 20 miles. So you can see that the use of the equipment in the vehicle affects the range of the vehicle. And I have said all along in, in terms of my interest in electric vehicles, and I've shifted a little bit because originally I was not much in favor of them. Having driven them now, and this is the third ones that I've driven, the, the Audi and the uh, Volkswagen. Uh, prior to that, I had driven a friend of mine's Tesla. And I have become sort of enamored with the thought of electric vehicles and not having to go to a gas station. I like that idea. I do not like the range right now. If I were just buying a vehicle to tool around town, and that's all I did with it. Okay, no problem. You know, 30, 40 mile trips. Okay, no problem. But if you're someone like we are who likes to travel the state and travel elsewhere, the practicality isn't there yet. It's coming. It'll be there soon, but not yet. I'm hoping within my lifetime, within the next few years, actually, that they come out with a battery system that will give you 800 miles or 1,000 miles. Now I'm interested. That would pique my interest. Or a car that you could charge, and some of them you can now, but you'd have to find the stations to do it. A car that could be charged in 20, 30 minutes. So that if you're on a highway and your battery's running low, you pull into a station or a rest area on an interstate or a service plaza on a toll road. You put your credit card in the machine, you plug in your car, and 30 minutes later, you're full up again and you continue your trip. I wouldn't have a problem with that. I mean, we have to stop and gas up now. It doesn't quite take 30 minutes, but most of the time you stop, you use the restroom facilities, you go in, you have a bite to eat, you do whatever you do at a rest area. Rarely do you pull in and pull out. So I would not have a problem with having to do that. But the range is what's important. But this Tesla accident points out the fact that there is a difference between electric vehicles and autonomous vehicles. They may have certain autonomous capabilities, but not to the point yet where you don't sit in the driver's seat and control the vehicle. Not there yet. Take a break. I'll be back. Lines open for you here on the Art Lewis Show. More ahead on WSGW. RocketCraftPlus.com This week's deal on RocketCraftPlus.com is for the Vino Wine Warehouse in Bay City. You are going to get a $30 gift certificate to their Spring Festival for only $15. The Vino Wine Warehouse has over 1,000 retail wine items, 16 draft craft beers, and a full liquor section. Head to RocketGrabPlus.com right now to snag your deal. RocketGrabPlus.com Corner, which means it's the perfect time to finish your interior projects before heading outside to enjoy the weather. This is Mike from Westside Decorating Center. To help with those projects, we've started our spring decorating sale. Stop in today for huge savings on window treatments, flooring, and paint. These products are up to 30% off. Call us today at 793-6182 or stop by our showroom. Everything you need is in one location. West Side Decorating Center, 5789 State Street in Saginaw Township. Hi everyone, I'm Miss America 2020 Camille Schreier. Join me in support of the DEA's National Prescription Drug Take Back Day, Saturday, April 24th. Please get rid of the unused or expired prescriptions in your medicine cabinet. They could end up lost. Just protect your family and our communities and let's all keep prescription drugs out of the wrong hands. Keep them safe, clean them out, take them back. Find a collection site near you at deatakeback.com. That's deatakeback.com. 
Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, inventor of my pillow, here to tell you about my Giza Dream bed sheets. The long staple cotton makes my Giza Dream sheets ultra soft and durable. They come with my 60 day money back guarantee and a 10 year warranty. And now you can get the best sheets ever for the best price ever. When you buy one of my Giza Dream bed sheet sets, you'll get another one absolutely free. Go to mypillow.com and Square and use promo code SKY, S K Y, for this amazing special. News coverage. The J&J vaccine. The risk of a blood clot variants that are very much here and spreading. Take this seriously. You don't think Americans' liberties have been threatened the last year, Dr. Fauci? I don't look at this as a liberty thing. Well, that's obvious. As a public health thing. News coverage. Infrastructure bill. It's also human infrastructure. News. The nation's latest mass shooting in Indianapolis on WSGW. All right, we're back with you here on WSGW. A few minutes remaining. Uh, if you can get in real quick, we can chat with you. Um, there's a topic I want to bring up. Uh, I'm going to bring it up in the future because we really don't have time uh, to delve into it in any depth right now. Uh, but the topic is, is our healthcare system healthy or is it broken in this country? And what did COVID-19 show us? Again, it's a topic for a future, but think about it. Cody is in Saginaw. Cody, good morning to you. Uh, good morning. Are you still talking about electric vehicles? Sure, absolutely. Oh, okay, yeah. I was very impressed with the Tesla. I took a ride at somebody somebody downstate had one. I was impressed with the speed. Uh, I was impressed with his, uh, he showed me all the bells and whistles on it. And he said, well, for instance, if I have to go to Chicago uh, for, you know, repairs or whatever, how many miles it was before he had to to, uh, to get a recharge? It showed all the charging stations, the Tesla charging stations between Detroit and Chicago. Yep. And on this particular day, it showed how many miles he he um, he showed one in Marshall and one somewhere else, like in New Buffalo or something. Showed his options of where to get it charged. Mm -hmm. You know, for a fast charge. And yeah, I don't know how long the fast charge was, but yeah, 20, 30 minutes. The, uh, the, is it? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's for the fast charge, right? Not at home. Yeah, no, at home, uh, on the home systems, if you go in and you have a very low battery uh, on on a trickle type or a home system, it could take you eight hours. Oh yeah. The fast yeah. charges though are, are are the way to go if you're traveling, obviously. Right. Well, the thing that, uh, one of the things I remember reading about Henry Ford, I, was, I know Henry Ford was at one time an employee of Edison. Yep. And Edison has been playing around with electric cars. Henry Ford had the opportunity to have Edison here because Edison had heard that he was working on a car. And um, so he was very eager to hear uh, what Henry Ford was and uh, he, he told him, I'll make the long story short, he told them, he told them to keep pursuing that because he could not see uh, charging stations all over the country for electric vehicles. Yeah. Well, that was then. So, <laughs> now. Right. So, so now you can see charging. They'll be, they will be everywhere. They'll be as prevalent as gas stations in the near future. Okay. That's my okay. guess. And how do they how do they generate the electricity? Ah, well, that's a topic for another day because I'm out of time. But that is a good question, oh, okay. and that's one we're going to have to tackle in the future. Cody, I got to run, but uh, right, we'll thanks. talk more about it. Thanks, and we will take our last break and be back to close out this hour. Jim, I'm blown away at how many vehicles I see with the name Midland Ford on them. What's your secret? There's no secret. Just good old honest people doing what we love, making customers happy. Those customers tell their family and friends, and people look at our low prices on the Internet. 
in Lake Wildfire. That's why we get so many customers in and out of town. Cars and trucks is because of Ford's current success? We do have good quality products, but we also have a huge selection. Not just Ford products. We also have Chevy, Dodge, Volvo, Jeeps, and, of course, those good old wood haulers. What about financing, Jim? Do you have I at Midland Ford Lincoln? Absolutely not. We have finance options for everyone. People need not worry about that. They can depend on getting the best vehicles at the lowest prices with no gimmick. You'll be amazed by the outstanding selection. You'll be astonished by the incredible low prices. Stop out and see for yourself why Midland Ford Lincoln is your saving store. Or go to Midland Ford. Hey, this is Lisa Stofan. Heard the Mark Patrick weight loss hypnosis hype? Well, I attended because my father. Hypnosis eliminated my desire for soda and fast food, made me want to exercise, and I lost 60 pounds in six months. My energy level exploded. I went to another session to deal with some other problem foods, and I lost another 10 pounds. In fact, I brought weight. More important, cholesterol and blood pressure improved. My friend went, and she lost 20 pounds in the first two months. So does Mark Patrick hypnosis work? Oh, yeah, it works. Nothing has changed my life more. Well, except maybe my husband. He's so proud of me. Makes me cry. That is remarkable. That's right. Join Mark Patrick's hypnosis seminar and lose the weight or stop smoking. Guaranteed or your money back. Because of coronavirus, seminar now online, live Thursday, April 24th for the Saginaw area. Details at markpatrickseminars.com. That's markpatrickseminars.com. Register at markpatrickseminars.com. Hey, I'm Andy. I've been popping up on your radio for a while, telling you about the men called Harry's. Unfortunately, I'm still not famous. Today, I want to talk to you about our most requested product ever, deodorant. Thousands of guys have called, emailed, and commented asking us to make it. Just like a lot of guys, I have problems with sweat and odor. For years, we've all used the same deodorants, even though, and it was hard to find the right one for me. So we did something. We designed our deodorant and antiperspirant to deliver what guys care about most. Three levels of protection at different strengths for those who sweat a lot, or a little. All day protection, four fresh signature scents, all for a fair price. We can't wait for You can find our new line of Harry's deodorant and antiperspirant at harrys.com or in a store near you. Just head on over to the deodorant aisle or check them out today at harrys.com. Enjoy. All right, that'll do it for uh, this edition of the Art Lewis Show. Thanks for being with us. And we'll head off to news. We'll be back with Focus, and we'll talk about New Hope today with John Zarnecki right after the news. Talk to you then. From the Stone Specialist Studios, this is WSGW, Saginaw, Bay City, Midland, WSGW FM, Carlton. This is CBS News on the Hour, sponsored by Facet Wealth. I'm Steve Kaif, and the jury's getting a last chance to hear from the prosecution and the defense in the Derek Chauvin murder trial. The closing arguments began with prosecutors addressing the jury. Steve Slisher described in detail the final moments of George Floyd's life. He asked for help in his very last breath. Not help. The defendant did not help. He stayed on top of him, continued to push him down. Before the arguments, Judge Peter Cahill gave the jury his instructions. After the jurors hear both sides, they will get the case. Jurors will be sequestered during deliberations. Steve Futterman, CBS News, Minneapolis. Police in Austin, Texas said this morning they've arrested the former sheriff's deputy sought for the shooting deaths of three people yesterday. President Biden marks a new milestone for adult eligibility for the COVID-19 vaccines. Everybody is eligible as of today to get the vaccine. We have enough of it. You need to be protected and you need in turn to protect your neighbors and your family. So please. Get More than half of all adults in the U.S. have now gotten at least one dose. An out-of-this-world achievement by NASA successfully flying a small helicopter today on Mars. CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood. The small drone successfully took off in the thin Martian atmosphere. It climbed up about 10 feet, hovered, and then set back down for landing. It all took about 40 seconds. It was a very short, very straightforward test, but it's a major milestone for NASA. The first powered aircraft flight on another planet. Police say there was 
no one in the driver's seat when a Tesla went off a winding road outside Houston over the weekend and hit a tree, killing both men inside. Harris County Constable Mark Herman says he's never seen a crash scene like it. Normally, when the fire department arrives, they have a vehicle fire under control in minutes. But this went on for close to four hours. It's not clear if the vehicle's autopilot system was on. Overseas, there are new developments in the health of Alexei Navalny, the Russian opposition leader who's imprisoned and has been on a hunger strike. Russia's prison service decided to transfer Navalny to a prison hospital, describing his health as satisfactory. But supporters say that transfer is just further proof that Navalny is in grave condition. CBS's Charlie Daggett says the prison service said Navalny had agreed to take vitamin therapy. The Supreme Court said today it would not hear a case out of Pennsylvania related to the 2020 election. A final decision had been delayed because the court had asked for an additional briefing that was not finished up till the end of last month. Wall Street, the Dow is down 160. This is CBS News. Facet Wealth, personalized and affordable financial planning for everyday Americans. No wealth or asset minimums. Quality financial advice for every stage of your life. The time has come to ask attorney Jerry Reif another question or two. First of all, a power of attorney. Is that enough for my estate plan? Many people think having a power of attorney or a will is all the estate planning they need. While these two legal documents are important, they may not be enough for an effective estate plan. Well, why is that? these documents actually do okay a will is a letter to the probate court identifying who gets your personal and financial belongings which is important after you pass away a legal or financial power of attorney grants authority to someone else to make these decisions for you while you're alive why isn't that enough well first it's essential to also have a medical directive which grants authority to a person you trust to make health care decisions on your behalf when you can't second a will may not be sufficient to protect all your assets Third, depending on each individual situation, you may need all of the above plus one or more trusts or limited liability companies. Thanks, Jerry. If you want more information, register for an upcoming workshop. Visit jerryreiflawyer.com or call 989-790-1461 today. Hi, this is Joe Cordell with the law firm Cordell & Cordell. When the prospect of divorce becomes a reality that you can count on, if you're a man in this situation, consider contacting Cordell & Cordell. We've helped men navigate complex legal matters for 30 years. Contact Cordell & Cordell to schedule an appointment with one of our firm's Detroit area attorneys, a partner men can count on, online at CordellCordell.com. That's CordellCordell.com. Offices in Troy and Ann Arbor. I'm Dr. Baker, an ER physician. If you're having leg pain, swelling, or redness, but haven't talked to your doctor yet, don't wait. This could be deep vein thrombosis a blood clot which could travel to your lungs and lead to a pulmonary embolism, which could cause chest pain or discomfort or difficulty breathing and be deadly. Your symptoms can mean something serious, so don't wait. Talk to a doctor right away by phone on... Brought to you by Bristol-Myers Squibb and Pfizer. From the 100.5 and 790 Newsroom, this is WSGW News. It's 55 degrees at 11.05. Good morning. I'm Ian Williams. State police at the Flint Post are investigating a crash that left a full-grown black bear dead in the roadway on I-75 near Beecher Road. Troopers were sent to investigate about one this morning. The vehicle was seen before troopers arrived. The bear carcass was turned over to the Department of Natural Resources Law Enforcement Division for further investigation. The second on major crimes unit is investigating a Saturday night homicide. It happened about 8 p.m. on North Harrison between Holland and Miller. Police were dispatched to that area about 8 p.m. on Saturday night where they found 16-year-old Carmel Jackson dead. He had been shot multiple times. The uh, homicide is under investigation. The city is hosting vaccination clinics on campus for high school students age 16 and older. Meyer Pharmacy will administer the Pfizer vaccine. Second dose events will be held May 10th and 12th. SVSU has invited students from around 50 schools throughout the region to take part, and about 800 have pre-registered with Meyer Pharmacy. 
With some districts fully virtual this week, SVSU expects to see a significant number of walk-in participants and have planned accordingly. Students under 18 as of April 19th who wish to be vaccinated must be accompanied by a parent or legal guardian. WSTW News Time 7. Wearing a mask is more than protection. It's a bridge to better days. The path back to celebrations with family. Nights out on the town with friends. Game days with your favorite sports teams. And the thrill of live concerts. But until we can all get the COVID-19 vaccine and build community immunity, which will take time, we all need to continue to stay careful because Michigan's recovery is depending on you. And so are your family, friends, and oh, even after you're vaccinated, wear a mask, avoid large gatherings, and social distance. One day in the near future, we will all be able to put this pandemic behind us. But until then, spread hope, not COVID. Learn more at michigan.gov slash coronavirus. A message from the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. WSGW News time is 1108. Bay City residents looking to get rid of harder to recycle items will be able to do so again as the cleanup day, uh, cleanup Bay City Earth Day event returns on Saturday. WSGW's Rick Antonio reports. Parks and Environment says the event was started as a way to help dispose of difficult items without seeing them added to the city's overall waste output. We were recycling all the hard to recycle items that are not recyclable curbside. Tires, light bulb, styrofoam, polystyrene, plastic overwrap, plastic bag. This event is designed to recycle those and keep those out of our curbside waste. In addition to the collection event, which runs from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., the Bay City Electric Light and Power Energy Smart Program will be providing free tree samplings while supplies last to promote energy conservation through energy efficient landscaping, according to the city. For more information on the Earth Day event, including a full list of accepted items or items with restrictions, City Earth Day Celebration Facebook event page. Rick Antonio News Radio 90. We may be getting some positive news regarding the virus in Michigan. Governor Gretchen Whitmer was on NBC's Meet the Press Sunday morning and said the state is starting to see some data that the number of cases is plateauing, while at the same time, the safety precautions are still in place. We still have very strong measures to keep people safe. Mask mandates, we've got capacity restrictions, we've got work from home. We're imploring people to take a two week pause. Don't go to indoor dining, maybe edge, you know, keep your kids at home for virtual learning after. Um, but we are starting to see you know, the beginning of what could be a slowdown, which is welcome. The governor said the variants are one of the key reasons why cases are spiking. The state health department reported just over 5,500 cases along with 69 deaths yesterday. There are more than 4,100 people hospitalized. Cases have been spiking for the past two months. It may not seem difficult, but relearning our challenge over the next few months as we hear from Jason Scott. For more than a year regarding the pandemic, uncertainty has reigned supreme and moving forward, you should keep this in mind. The belief that the future is going to be good. That's Birmingham psychiatrist, Dr. Howard Belkin. Will the post-COVID life ever be exactly what the pre-COVID life is? Probably not, but it will be a reasonable facsimile. It will be similar. However, maybe we come out of this with some some more protection, a greater understanding of our function in society, keeping ourselves safe, and we will be getting better. Jason Scott, the Michigan News Network. When you see news happening, call the WSGW Newsroom, 752-0790. It's 1110. I'm Ann Williams. Here's your WSGW weatherology forecast. In blend of clouds and some with areas of light rain, high of 56 tonight, mainly cloudy, low near 31, breezy winds. Tuesday, mainly cloudy, high near 40. Tuesday night, lots of clouds. Areas of rain, then some snow, low near 28. High of 43 on Wednesday, lots of sunshine. Wednesday night, clear to partly cloudy, low near 28. High of 54 on Thursday, mainly sunny. Thursday night, mainly clear, low near 38. High of 62 on Friday, mainly sunny. 
Laura Lockwood with the WSQW Weatherology Forecast. Right now, 53. Now, it's time to focus as WSGW presents the people, the places, the businesses, the culture, the area events and activities, all put into focus on 100.5 and 790 News Radio WSGW and online WSGW.com. Focus is brought to you by Northeastern Paint Home Day. Saginaw and Bay City. For all your home decorating needs, trust Northeastern Paint Supply, serving you since 1959. And a good morning to you. Welcome to another edition of Focus here on WSGW. Today we folk, <laughs> I can say it, we focus on New Hope Bay and New Hope Valley. And uh, with us to chat about that, we say good morning to John Zarnecki. John, good morning to you. Morning, Art. It's been a while. Well, it has been a while. We had Rumi on for a while, too. Uh, let me ask uh, if there's been many changes uh, in COVID-19 protocols over the last couple of months in terms of who can come in and who can't. You know, it's funny because earlier on, obviously, our senior population was highest at risk. Across the country, we heard the news stories, and certainly here in long-term care in, in the Great Lakes Bay region, we had battened down the hatches and safety. And now, really, in a lot of ways, it's flipped um, because of the vaccine. 98% um, of our residents received the vaccine at both New Hope Bay and New Hope Valley. The few that didn't uh, were just some health issues, and their doctor felt that it was better for them to pass on it. So that helped us and the state say, okay, we can start to, quote, unquote, open up and allow some visitors, but yet there's still some you still need to test to come visit. Uh, they are only allowing two guests at a time. You can go back to the apartment and visit, and certainly still masking and social distancing is, is required. But I'll tell you what, when the doors opened uh, to allow this uh, controlled visit, let's call it, about two weeks ago, it, the spirits I know around New Hope Bay, New Hope Valley, it was palatable. You can just feel the joy return to the buildings, uh, the residents, the staff. Uh, I know personally just being able to spend time with families and inside the building and talk to them and, and share the, the, you know, some of the, the tears from the past year of just we've, we've kind of made it through part of it. So, yeah, allowing folks in. Uh, how are the residents doing? How are they holding up under COVID-19? I think now we're on the back side of it. Certainly, I think the biggest concern for us was really early, you know, the, the, the very early spring, I would say March. Uh, because you were, you know, you, you made it through the holidays. Um, you know, I think that folks, you know, every every staff member went above and beyond. I know at, at both campuses to really try to fill the void uh, as much as we could. I think people got into a bit of a routine. You know, they were inside the buildings. We were back out of the apartments. Obviously, there were protocols inside the building, but it was much more normal inside the building. But that personal touch from family still was missing. But when, you know, it's kind of like all of us feel that way. We get to March and, and we're kind of tired of winter, let alone, you know, everybody getting <laughs> yeah. COVID fatigue, right? So <laughs> you bet. You, you, right? So you compound that. And so, you know, we just try to do our best to fill the voids and also to, to look for any pop uh, as this vaccine started to get rolled out. And, and I'll tell you, residents were beyond anxious to get this vaccine. It was, they knew what it meant for them. Uh, and I also think it's a generation that for some reason, in some ways, I think, trust the vaccine more uh, than maybe some of the younger generations do. I mean, oh. just simply the numbers. Yeah, they grew up seeing the eradication of polio. They saw vaccines come into play for youngsters, uh, measles, mumps, all those good things. So they understand it. Absolutely. That's right. Absolutely. That's right. And, and you know, I mean, I see we see more staff now uh, because of the variant out there and younger people being affected by it, uh, considering the vaccine. Um, we were we were blessed. Well over fifty percent of the campuses got the vaccine from staff from the staff level. And when we looked around and talked to even the providers, uh, which was Walgreens for us, they said we had a very high percentage versus a lot of other long term care. So, so we still encourage it. We think it's important, and uh, but we do feel we're on the backside of this. Was there was there a difference in in treatment in terms of visitation? from those that lived in the main building facilities versus those that are in the independent facilities? Not from a visitation because we, we've given they're in the same buildings, the 
you know, yes, the independent could come and go, but they had a require they had requirements of wearing masks and distancing inside the building, and we didn't mix mix our populations of those in assisted and those in independent. So we had we had protocols here at New Hope Bay, which is set up a little differently than New Hope Valley. Um, and that, and I'll tell you what, you want to talk about a group of people that got on board and and took it very seriously. I said to the group here at New Hope Bay when I met with all the residents, you are just like me. You know, I do not want to bring anything into this building and risk our folks in assisted living or memory care. And I said, I know you feel the same way. So, you know, we just laid down the same protocols. We took, we took temperatures daily. We still will do testing upon any symptoms because we can do the rapid response test. We've been able to do that since January. We've committed staffing to be able to do that uh, for visitors as well as for our, our current residents. And that has made all the difference. So yeah. it's, it's gone pretty well. All right, John, hang on. I got to take a break. Come back. We'll talk a little bit about staffing. Uh, we're talking to John Zarnecki at New Hope Bay and New Hope Valley. We will do more when we return here on Focus. Northeastern Paint, home decoration center. We're more than a custom paint store. We have everything you need. From carpet to lighting, it's all here. With quality and satisfaction guaranteed. Northeastern Paint, home decoration center. Since 1959, count them, that's 62 has been serving the Tri-Cities. We have the most knowledgeable staff in the area, offering you the highest quality products in the industry. Benjamin Moore Paints, Hunter Douglas Blinds, Quazelle and Kitchler Lighting, Pouring from Pouring America, Fireplace Doors, Gas Logs, and Custom Made Rugs. It's all here under one roof, Northeastern Paint Supply, Saginaw and Bay City. Northeastern Paint, Home Decoration Center. We're proud to make Pioneer Sugar for you and your family. Proud to be found in your kitchen, the heart of your home. And it doesn't really matter what you make with Pioneer Sugar, whether it's with our granulated white, light brown, or soft confectioners. It's the memories you'll make using it that will matter the most. Pioneer Sugar, pure and all natural, made from sugar beets grown right here. What could be sweeter than that? We've all experienced it at one time or another. You know, one of those days, weeks, or months where life happens. Effectively laid off and trying to figure out how to make ends meet until I find another job? Yes. You mean like my emergency fund getting drained due to car repairs? Exactly. When you need somewhere to turn, turn to us. We're Members First Credit Union. Let us help you with a Life Happens loan. We're offering super low rates and a variety of terms. Get some peace of mind and money to use for all sorts of things. Emergency home repairs, everyday essentials, bills, utilities, and more. That would be a life changer for me right now. Thanks. I was worried about getting my roof leak fixed. Wow, that's huge. Get started and apply now at MFCU.net. Members First Credit Union. When life happens, it's important to have somewhere to turn. Federally insured by NCUA. Equal housing opportunity. Subject to credit approval. Get up to one half percentage point APR off your loan rate based on your relationship with the credit union. RocketGrabPlus.com. The days of paying full price are over. And at RocketGrabPlus.com, deals just for you. You can get tons of half off deals going on right now from Cafe 13, the Frankenmuth Aerial Park, Woody's Hot Dogs, King's Fish and More. Beer Garden, and High Country Jumpers. Half off? Yeah, it's true. And it's all at RocketGrabPlus.com. RocketGrabPlus.com. Listen to this station anytime, anywhere on Odyssey. Odyssey is your new audio home for all the music, news, sports, and podcasts that matter to you. Odyssey. That's A-U-D-A-C-Y. You're in the Stone Specialist Studios. This is... I've been 790 News Radio WSGW. All right, we're back with you and back with John Zarnecki from New Hope Bay and New Hope Valley. Uh, John, I have to ask this question because everybody is suffering today trying to find staff. How are you folks doing with your staffing? Better than most. Um, I mean, you, you're hearing about businesses limiting their hours closing early and such because of staffing we don't have that luxury obviously. yeah you can't um, do that 
But, you know, one of the things that I've always believed in is to have a, a broad and deep organizational chart to support your Rumi you know, has always supported that. We know this business is about people. And because of that, uh, as, as we've run, quote, unquote, short, we've had supervisors and managers willing to step in and fill the void. So we rarely, if ever, run short. And I know a lot of uh, other long-term care communities have really struggled through this. I've heard some stories that are just very concerning to me about the labor shortage. Uh, we're just trying to continue to think outside the box, um, not only appreciating those who do the work here and not burn them so many hours and how to give them appropriate breaks and, and appreciate them, but of course, continue to attract other uh, staff to come here. And, you know, to be honest with you, because it's been so tough out in, in other areas, we have been able to actually bring folks in recently at a fairly high level because they're just looking for a better balance and they don't see it happening because of the challenge of uh, the shortness of labor. So are you, is, is the uh, help wanted sign continually out? It all, you know, to be honest with you, uh, I, I've always said, uh, and I've done this in my consulting work, you never stop looking for talent ever, mm -hmm. um, and especially in a people business. And so ever since the day we opened this building back in November of 2016, looking. Now, obviously, at this time, you know, we certainly could use a, some more staff, especially in our care department. Our culinary operation is very solid, housekeeping solid facilities. It's really the care department. Um, and at all levels, I mean, you have a great chance for advancement here when you join New Hope Bay. If this is really a career move for you, then you have a chance to be able to move into a management role and, and even a greater leadership position, given the campus set up the two buildings, both here in uh, Bay City and in Saginaw. So we we certainly have been blessed to add a few of those folks lately, but we could use more. And do they have to come in with a certain degree of skill and training or do you provide that? Well, we certainly provide that. Matter of fact, I'm working on a program right now, uh, a certificate just short of a CNA um, that we would cost them nothing to be able to bring them in and actually get, earn a skill set. Um, nowadays, with the workforce the way it is, I, you know, we still want to invest in them any way we can. We, we look for experience, number one. And then when you talk to someone, you can tell if they have that passion and drive to care for others. Yeah. All right, let's talk about uh, availabilities at New Hope. You have units open? We do both at, at in Saginaw and here. I will tell you one of the thing, Rumi, things Rumi and I did was we wanted to know how the business performed through COVID. And so uh, we did some market research and we were very pleased that our occupancy is held at a very high level compared to many others back to our families. 90% of the people that call me, uh, call Rumi about looking for a place for mom and dad, know somebody who's experienced New Hope either here in Bay City or down in Saginaw. Right now, it truly has been, in the last six weeks, I've never experienced anything like it. It has just been so incredibly busy because call it pent-up demand, uh, call it the vaccine, call it a combination of both. Our, our independent living here at, at New Hope Bay is full. I've already started a waiting list. I have a few people on it already. Um, and that's usually a slower product because that's a want, not a need. But uh, we do have openings in assisted living and memory care here. Um, New Hope Valley's memory care is full. However, they'll take a waiting list or so, certainly folks, and they do have some openings uh, in their independent and their assisted. So very, very, very busy time. Is there a website people can get more information? And that's what we suggest. The first thing to do is go to our website, newhopeseniorcommunities.org. From there, you can either go to New Hope Valley or New Hope Bay, and you can really get a lot of good information there. We update that constantly, and it's updated really with information that reflects what people are asking us on a daily basis from floor plans to how we provide our product to what all we offer. Then after that, give us a call. Um, I've got three people to meet with today uh, that are just coming in to talk more. Them. Well, John, good to talk to you again and uh, we will do it again down the road. Appreciate well, right, it. Good to catch up with you too. All right. Stay safe. We'll talk to you soon. You too. Bye-bye now. So long. John Zarnecki from New Hope Bay and New Hope Valley. We thank him for being with us on Focus. We'll pause and then be back and move on to the markets from Baird & Company when we return. Sound Asleep Lab is the only freestanding physician-owned accredited sleep lab in mid-Michigan. We do home sleep and in-the-lab sleep studies. The most cost-efficient sleep lab with average costs less than half when compared to others. With four convenient locations in Saginaw, Bay City, Midland, and Mount Pleasant. With four full-time practitioners dedicated to treatment of sleep apnea and other sleep disorders. Appointment usually within one to two weeks. Please discuss with your primary care provider or call 989-792-2792. 
2792 or check us out at soundasleeplab.com how clean is your nose most airborne germs and allergens invade through the nose your body's air filter its first line of defense you wash your hands and brush your teeth but what about your an easy way to keep your nose clean and help your body protect itself it's called navage nasal care Navage uses powered suction to clean your nose by flushing out pollen, mucus, bacteria, and viruses. Millions use Navage for fast, all-natural relief from sinus congestion and allergies and to breathe better, sleep deeper, snore less, and feel healthier without drugs. Navage affordable, and it comes with an absolute guarantee of satisfaction. And 50,000 who's averaging 4.7 stars show just how much people love their Navage. You wash your hands and brush your teeth every day. Now you can clean your nose and help protect your health with Navaj. At Navaj.com, CVS, Walgreens, Bed Bath & Beyond, Target, and Rite Aid. Navaj. N-A-V-A-G-E. Make good nasal hygiene your new normal with Navaj. Clean nose, healthy life. Finding great candidates to hire can be like, well, trying to find a needle in a haystack. Sure, you can post your job to some job board, but then all you can do is hope the right person comes along, which is why you should try ZipRecruiter for free com slash radio zip recruiter doesn't depend on candidates finding you you its powerful technology identifies people with the right experience and actively invites them to apply to your job you get qualified candidates fast so while other companies might deliver a lot of hay zip recruiter finds you what you're looking for the needle in the haystack see why four out of five employers who post a job in zip recruiter get a quality candidate within the first day ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. And right now, you can try ZipRecruiter for free. That's right, free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. On slash radio. RocketGrabPlus.com RocketGrabPlus.com is for the Vino Wine Warehouse in Bay City. You are going to get a $30 gift certificate to their spring festival for only $15. The Vino Wine Warehouse has over 1,000 retail wine items, 16 draft craft beers, in a full liquor section. Head to RocketGrabPlus.com right now to snag your deal. RocketGrabPlus.com The Focus Show on WSGW, brought to you by Northeastern Paint Supply in Saginaw and Bay City. For all your home decorating needs, trust Supply. Serving you since 1959. And that'll do it for Focus today. We'll be back tomorrow with more here on WSGW. Time to head over to Baird and Company for our ticket tip of the day. And Steve Anderson with us this morning. Steve, good morning. Good morning to you. How are we starting the week? How are we starting the week? You there? I am. Are you? I am. How are we starting the week, Steve? <laughs> uh, we're starting it with some red, a little bit of red today. Actually, quite a bit of red today. We got the Dow Jones Industrial Average down 130 points, putting it at 34,071 on volume of 295 million shares. The Nasdaq is off, putting it at 139, at 13.930 on uh, volume of 343 million shares. And your ticker tip for the day. Don't forget to uh, review your life insurance at the same time, generally at the same time as the best time, uh, as you do the rest of your investments. Uh, often I recommend you might want to consider doing that stuff right around your birthday, uh, mainly because you have one of those each year and uh, gives you a good chance to remember. But but life insurance is an important part of a person's plan. Uh, often you don't have it purchased to see great growth in your particular cash value for something that you can use now, but when you're doing your longer estate planning and looking at uh, what you've set up for the rest of your family, it's very important. Also, and in that, uh, there's a lot of things that you could make mistakes with, like beneficiaries make sure you have it going where you want it to and of course it always helps to get a little help how can we do that from you oh it certainly does you can call us right here at baird and company where the telephone number is 790-5724 you can find us on the web 
at R W Baird. That's B A I R D dot com, and look for the Saginaw branch. All right, Steve. We'll talk to you down the road. Have a great day. Sounds good. Take care. Bye bye now. Steve Anderson at Baird and Company with our ticker tip of the day. It's off to Terry Henney's farm show after these notes. There are times when it's hard to ignore that you may have a gambling problem. Like when you're at the casino and you've withdrawn the maximum amount from your ATM. Withdrawal denied. When you can't leave the tables, yet you don't know how you're going to put food on the table. Credit card denied. When you can't see gaming and then can't fill up your gas tank. Transaction denied. When you're so invested in gambling, you're not able to invest in your future. You're robbing yourself and those you love of a better life. Approval denied. Don't deny there's a problem any longer. If you or someone you love is struggling with a gambling problem, we can help you win your life back. For free confidential help, call the Michigan Problem Gambling Helpline at 1-800-270-7117 or visit michigan.gov slash problem gambling. A message from the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. Jim Wilson, are customers surprised to find such a big... Midland Ford Lincoln? I've had many people tell me this is the best selection of used cars and trucks they've seen in Michigan. Not just quantity, but in the quality of our vehicles. You seem to have the cars and trucks everyone is looking for. Hard to find models you'd expect to find only in classified ads by private parties. Our volume sales means customers always have a bigger selection of better quality cars. Our minimum pricing policy means Midland Ford customers always pay less. But better doesn't mean more expensive. You have cars and trucks in every price and payment range, even for the tightest budgets. From inexpensive basic transportation to late model luxury and a great selection of trucks, we have what you're looking for. We currently have more tough Ford and explorers than we've ever had in our history. America's falling in love with Ford, and you have a personal invitation to find out why today at Midland Ford Lincoln, your savings store, or go to MidlandFord.com. Get huge savings with fuel rewards every time you fill up at one of your 26 area Forward Shell convenience stores. Get at least five cents off a gallon every single fill up and earn even more when you make purchases in store. You can regularly save 10, 20, even 30 cents off a gallon, which means less money goes into your tank and more stays into your wallet. Visit fuelrewards.com to sign up and start saving today. That's fuel rewards at your area Forward Shell convenience stores. And remember, when you want to pay less at the is your credit card debt piling up? Pacific Debt can help. Pacific Debt is the nation's friendliest debt settlement company. With an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau and thousands of five-star reviews on sites like Trustpilot and Best Company, they can settle your debt for a fraction of what you owe. In fact, they've settled over $300 million, helping people just like you. Get a monthly program payment you can afford and zero upfront. Free information now. 800-281-9981. 800-281-9981. And online, WSGW.com.
a mostly cloudy good morning to you. I hope your day is going well for you, wherever you might be. Started the morning off very nice, very pleasant. Plenty of sun, low wind. Things were looking pretty good. Now things are beginning to deteriorate just a little bit. Currently, with mostly cloudy skies, we have 55 degrees at the airport. It is still 58 here at Radio Center. Downtown Midland is 53. Downtown Bay City is 56. We now have a southwest wind gusting to better than 29 miles per hour this hour. Barometer is rising now at 30.70. That's because low pressure system affecting our weather is moving off to the northeast and we have a high pressure system that's trying to move in, but it's not really going to get very close to us because over the next 24 to 36 hours, we're going to be looking at another low pressure system. This one currently over uh, northern sections of Kansas and western Missouri is going to deliver a little bit of winter at us, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. A little chilly in northern Michigan and Michigan's thumb overnight. Some light precipitation, spotty sprinkles here and there. That was uh, pretty much it. The low-pressure system that uh, we were talking about is hooked on to a front. That front had uh, been located over western portions of uh, Wisconsin a little bit earlier this morning. That's why we had the sunny start. That's why down in the Detroit area right now, they are looking at mostly sunny skies. And in the city, it is 62 degrees. We were warmer than what we are right now. And as I said, our temperatures are going to be deteriorating as we go through the afternoon tonight. We are going to be pretty close to the freezing mark, 32. We're not going to break any records. Uh, the record on this date is 21, and that was set back in 1947. I mean, we had some chilly nights overnight over the weekend. On uh, Saturday night, 33. On uh, Sunday night, Monday morning, we dropped down to about 36. So we're going to be pretty close tonight to where we were on uh, Saturday night, and it does appear as though we'll be looking at some cool temperatures moving down into the upper 20s as we move into the work week this week. What's going to be happening, obviously, is the front is going to move through. A little bit of moisture with it. So as we go through the afternoon hours, we are going to see a light shower, a sprinkle here and there. And then things will uh, kind of clear off. We'll get some breaks in the clouds. And don't be surprised if tomorrow morning we actually do see once again a little bit of sun, but not nearly as much sun tomorrow as what we saw here this morning. Clouds will be on the increase as we go through the day. The big difference is going to be our temperatures. After a low of right around 32 degrees, we'll only make it up to about 46 for a high tomorrow. Clouds as we go through the day and then that low pressure system, which is currently over Missouri, is going to move very rapidly into southern Illinois, southern Indiana, cross through central Ohio, move up through the Cleveland, Ohio area over uh, Lakes Erie and then Ontario and then all the way into the New England states, that's going to happen over a couple of days. Uh, that low will move very rapidly. It's one of the reasons why it's not going to stay in one spot very long and generate a whole lot of precipitation. And by that, I mean measurable amount of snow. Now, in some cases, and again, we're talking Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, Southern Illinois, Indiana, uh, also sections of Ohio, two to four inches of snow is not out of the question for those folks. And a matter of fact, you get a little bit closer to Illinois, there are some forecasts of four to six inches of snow by the time this system finally moves through. For us here in Michigan, you have to look at the I-69 corridor and to the south as far as any measurable amount of snow. For us in the Great Lakes Bay region, if we get a little flurry or two or maybe a light dusting of snow, it's going to go away quite quickly because the soil temperatures are still in that 50 to 53 degree range pretty much overall the entire growing area. The primary concern is going to be the orchards, the trees, 
Uh, we're just going to have to see uh, how far along some of these trees are and what the cold air is going to do to them because we will be looking at some pretty chilly temperatures. As we indicated last week, we felt that Tuesday night was going to be pretty chilly in that 28 degree area, 27 degree. We just have to see how long we're going to hold those temperatures because once we drop down that far, we really don't want to go much more than three, maybe four hours. And then you really do begin to see some damage. So uh, cold temperatures, record cold temperatures, yes. Kansas City, uh, Tuesday night, their record is 29. That was set back in 1982, and they stand a real good chance of breaking that. In St. Louis tomorrow night, their record is 32, and that was set back in 1904, and they are looking at breaking that record. Indianapolis and Chicago will be near records as well. For us, I don't think we're going to be breaking any records. We're going to be looking at, um, well, 21 is our record tonight. Uh, that was set back in 1947. Uh, the record high in this date, 83, that was set in 2005. We should be 58 in the afternoon and 37 at night. Looking for a high tomorrow, as we said, with a real quick shot of some sun, mostly cloudy. Snow uh, precipitation activity will kick in late Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday night, 26 for a low. Tomorrow night, 27 for a low. On Wednesday night after a high of 42, light precipitation. That'll be moving through very rapidly on Tuesday morning. So Thursday, sunshine, 56. Clear skies Thursday night, 38. Then on Friday, 62. Saturday, 59. Sunday, 59. And all the way through that break, once we get done with Tuesday night and early Wednesday morning, nothing in the way of precipitation until possibly later in the day on Saturday. That's a look at what's going on as far as our weather is concerned. We'll touch base with Gary Kaufman in a moment, find out what the markets are doing. But before we do that, we want to remind you, the weather forecast brought to you by the folks at Nutrient Ag Solutions. Nutrient Ag Solutions has the local expertise to recommend the corn, soybean, and other seed products that are the best fit for your field. Plus, unparalleled agronomic support with products and services to unlock yield potential and improve crop performance from planting to harvest. Ask about our financing options to help you get more from every acre and lead the field. Visit your local Nutrient Ag Solutions branch or go to NutrientAgSolutions.com. They say there's a secret to growing a great crop. At Nutrient Ag Solutions, they beg to differ. It all starts with a strong foundation, and when it comes to fertilizer, there's no question that Titan XE drives dry fertilizer performance. They've been unlocking the potential in every prill of dry fertilizer with BioCatalyst technology for over a decade. Visit lpi.ag titan or contact your Nutrient Ag Solutions crop consultant to drive your crop's potential today. Farm Service brought to you today by the folks at Steiner Tractor Parts. You do get new tractors, new parts for old tractors. That tractor will almost be brand new when you get done with all the help you can get at Steiner Tractor Parts, 800-234-3280, or go to steinertractor.com. We say good morning to Gary Kaufman. Gary, what's on the board right now? Well, good morning there, Terry. Well, we've got positives across the board. Uh, wheat and corn's kind of off the highs, but uh, soybeans are near the highs. So uh, with that, let's call cash wheat up a penny right now at 624 on the white, 589 on the red. New crop also up one at 626 on the white, 591 on the red. Cash corn currently up four at 555. New crop is, let's call it up seven, Terry, at 469. Cash soybeans currently up 13 at 14.06, and new crop, let's call it up 8 at 12.17. Good way to start the week. Yeah, not too bad. You know, soybeans kind of, again, kind of leading the charge here to start the week with, and last week they kind of led the, the grains as well. Uh, they had a lot of strength there, but a lot of it last week was tied to vegetable oil prices, and it seems to be canola futures setting new highs this morning. Uh, out of Canada, and that's uh, why palm oil and bean oil are lower, but still 
Long story short, I think it's a lot of weather issues continue in South America. Worried about, uh, you know, demand continues to be good. So <clears throat> with that, the uh, market seems to be still going north for us. A little all bit. right. Gary, you take care. Have a good day. All right. All right. Thank you, Terry. You, you well. betcha. A little bit more as far as what the markets are doing. Doug Klein from Oppenheimer has the latest for us. To the uh, market report brought to you by the folks at Schaefer and Beer Line. It is Ram Spring commercial truck season going on at this area's certified ag dealer. They've been around since 1852 and they know trucks and vans. Schaefer and Beer Line in Frankenmuth. And by the folks at Krejak's House Family Restaurant, here's the number if you want to be a hero at your event if you have to supply the food. 989-894-5531. Krejak's House, corner of Cass and Michigan on Bay City's south side. Doug, what have we got right now? Well, one of the big banks in New York is recommending shorting the dollar. So that's helping us because the dollar's down about a half a percent. And we got a new high on December corn, so that touched 520. That's solid, and no new highs anywhere else. So here's your numbers. The May corn is 590 and a quarter, up four and three quarters. December corn, 519 and a quarter, up seven cents. May soybeans, 1447, up 13 and three quarters. November soybeans twelve eighty two and three quarters up eight and three quarters. The May wheat is six fifty four and three quarters up two and a quarter, and December wheat six sixty three and a half up one and three quarters. Crude oil is sixty three twenty six up thirteen cents. Heating oil one eighty nine and a half that's down a half a penny. Gasoline is two hundred three ninety two that's down three tenths of a penny. Natural gas two eighty six and a half that's up four cents. Canadian dollar, the U.S. dollar gets you dollar twenty five twenty two at the border. That's up eighteen ticks. The yen is at one o eight o six, down seventy one ticks. The euro is at one twenty thirty. That's up forty seven ticks. The dollar is at ninety one ten. That's down forty five ticks. Gold at seventeen seventy two seventy. All the sevens there, down six dollars and thirty cents. Silver's at twenty five eighty seven, down twenty three and a half cents. Platinum's at twelve oh nine seventy, up a dollar. Oh, <laughs> snoozer! <gold>. Whoa, <laughs> Doug, you take care. Have a Thank good you. one. All right, Doug Klein over at Oppenheimer. Now, many folks have been hearing us talk about the PPP loans, and uh, there's been deadlines. They've gone by. There's more deadlines. There's a matter of fact. There's one coming up here pretty quick. But I've got Dennis Kraft on the line from the Frankenmuth Credit Union. And Dennis, somebody told me the other day that it's not a matter of getting it in by the deadline, as it is getting it in before the money runs out. Is that right? Well, there is a cap on uh, how much money is going into round two, but we have not been notified of that happening. Um, as a matter of fact, round two. Uh, the average loan size is quite a bit smaller uh, because a, a lot of the program was geared toward smaller businesses that have 20 or less employees, uh, and they especially targeted Schedule F and Schedule C filers, which uh, farmers are taking a very um, active role. We've been quite busy with getting calls from them, and uh, they're quite surprised by how much they do qualify for. I think a lot of the guys really didn't think they stood a chance of even qualifying. The biggest uh, change from round one to round two is that on your Schedule F, if you look at the bottom line net income, that's what round one considered as your loan amount. Your loan amount in round two has been changed to your gross sales, which I believe is line nine on your uh, Schedule F. Uh, Schedule C is in the same boat where you can use your gross sales now as a basis of what they call your, uh, your annual income, which you then divide by 12 to come up with your average monthly income. And then that is multiplied by 2.5 to uh, indicate how much your loan amount is for knowing that there is a cap to everybody of $100,000 for the employee, which in the, in a Schedule F application, the farmer himself is considered the employee. 
Okay, well, in a nutshell, I guess I need more than my slide rule to get this figured out. For those that don't know what a slide rule is, call Dennis, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Well, and your lender, uh, you know, if you've got a lender different than Franklin with Credit Union, they'll have this, should have the same information. If not, call us and we'll be happy to uh, guide you through the process. Also, visit our website. Uh, www.frankamuthculetters.org. And um, <clears throat> there's a full section there that describes round one and round two. Uh, if you've not had round one, uh, they open up the portals again for that under round two. And you're right, it is a little confusing when you uh, try to make some sense out of it. Uh, that's usually because the government is involved. You got that right. Dennis, always good to talk. Hey, don't be a stranger. Give us a call again, okay? All right, we will do. Love it. Thank you. Have a great day. I will. Dennis Kraft with the Frankenmuth Credit Union. While I've got him on the phone, Jerry Samalski, Bay Landscaping and Garden Center in Essexville. Jerry, going to get a little chilly the next couple of days. Yes, it is, Terry. And uh, just looking at the growing degree days from this year to last year and what's predicted to run out, we're still going to be a warmer year this year. So that means that we've got some stuff out that's pushed a little bit further. We may see some frost damage on some things like uh, I'm looking at some spirea that have pushed out actually quite far. Uh, like I'm looking at a, a ornamental pear tree and the flower buds on it might get toasted and fall off. But uh you know, not much we can do about some of that large stock. We're just going to have to take what we get and deal with it. Um, anything smaller that uh, you can maybe get a cover over, a sheet over a Japanese maple or something like that, if it's beginning to leaf out, would be a good idea. 26 and 27 is what I'm looking at for um, Wednesday and Thursday, and that's, you know, that's just not that's not too good at all. Nope, so, nope, that's cover pushing it. You can. Yep. Jerry, you take care. We'll talk to you again tomorrow, all right? Yes, sir. All right. Jerry Samalski. Drive green with Bader & Sons Company all year long and enjoy the ride. Run with us from now until June 1st and get an even better deal on 1 to 5 Series John Deere tractors with John Deere Rewards. Productivity and versatility are how we run. That's why the 1 through 5 Series John Deere tractors and attachments are engineered to help you till, mulch, haul, seed, sweep, plow, load, and of course, mow. Stop in today or buy online at greentractors.com. Are you upset with your current planter performance? Are you considering buying a new planter but blown away from sticker shock? With Precision Planting's V-Set V-Drive and Delta Force, we can retrofit your old planter to outperform any new planter on the market. Then access all your data from planting to harvest easily with Field View. Call PC Ag Solutions today and get your parts ordered, installed, and ready to go for the upcoming growing season. 989-868-4444. PC Ag Solutions. Many folks had quite a bit of damage done here uh, within the last year when it came to that dam failure over in Midland. Along with me is Eric Sawatsky at Yo and Yo Accounting. Eric, tell us a little bit about uh, something called casualty losses. Yes, Terry. Uh, one thing that we're seeing quite a bit of as we're filing 2020 taxes is uh, anyone who is directly impacting by the flooding uh, last July. The uh, Actually, in Midland, Saginaw, Gladwin, Aranac, and Iosco counties, uh, they were all declared a federal disaster area as a result of the flooding. And uh, one that gave the the federal government was able to provide funds to help uh, with the flood uh, cleanup efforts and all of that. But also, it allows you, from a tax standpoint, if you incurred major uh, losses, whether it would be damage to your home or appliances or the property itself that had to be repaired, uh, you potentially could take that as what's considered a casualty loss on your tax return. Uh, we're seeing some in the range of forty to $50,000 losses that weren't fully reimbursed by their insurance company um, that now could be a deduction against your income on your tax return. Now this would go as part of your itemized deductions and many people now take a standard deduction, but if we're talking 30, $40,000 of, of 
damages, then uh, more than likely you're going to be able to take that additional deduction. Uh, one thing I wanted to note on there, that also includes if you had a large decrease in value in your home, uh, we're seeing a lot of that. Uh, and those who are on Sanford Lake and the surrounding lake areas, if it was a lakefront property, you may not have had damage to your home, but now uh, with the lake not being there, unfortunately, property values are seeing significant drops. So just that decrease in market value is also something that can be considered a casualty loss uh, and more than likely you were not reimbursed for that. So this could be your opportunity to at least get a break on, on the tax return and take advantage of that. So uh, just be aware of that as you're filing your 2010 taxes, if you had damages from the flooding, uh, that's something you definitely want to look at. Obviously, you'd have to document you know, those damages and what insurance proceeds came in, uh, but that's something I would not overlook as you're wrapping up taxes for this year. Derek Sawatsky, thank you very much for sharing. We really appreciate that. Northeastern Paint, Home Decoration Center. We're more than a custom paint store. We have everything you need. From carpet to lighting, it's all here. With quality and satisfaction guaranteed. Northeastern Paint, Home Decoration Center. Since 1959, count them, that's 62 years Northeastern Paint Supply has been serving the Tri-Cities. We have the most knowledgeable staff in the area, offering you the highest quality products in the industry. Benjamin Moore Paints, Hunter Douglas Blinds, Quazelle and Kitchler Lighting, Pouring from Pouring America, Fireplace Doors, Gas Logs, and Custom Made Rugs. It's all here under one roof, Northeastern Paint Supply, Saginaw and Bay City. Northeastern Paint, Home Decoration Center. We'll be back at 1230 with an update. Stone Specialist Studios. This is WSGW. This is CBS News on the Hour, sponsored by Rocket Mortgage. I'm Steve Kathan. A Minneapolis jury will hear from both sides in the Derek Chauvin murder trial today. So far, the prosecution. In his closing argument, prosecutor Steve Slisher said Derek Chauvin wanted to show his power and authority over George Floyd. He wasn't going to be told what to do. He wasn't going to take a challenge to his authority. He was trying to win. And George Floyd paid for it. With his life. And Schlisher rejected defense claims that Floyd may have died because of a heart condition or his use of drugs. It's not common sense. That's nonsense. Believe your eyes. What you saw happened, happened. The jury could begin deliberations by the end of the day. Steve Futterman, CBS News, Minneapolis. A pandemic milestone today is all American adults are now eligible to get a coronavirus vaccine. President Biden's chief medical